Cool. Um, we are here. We are going to talk about all the anime of the all new of season. All of it. All of it. All, all the things. All of the animes. Oh, all of the exactly. Animes. Um, so let me switch over, and uh, we will get started chatting. So here's here is our kind of methodology this year. So welcome to the seasonal spring 2022 anime season preview. Um, so because it's three of us. We sort of pre-assigned some work um, to watch some things ahead of time uh, and then watched a bunch of stuff um, uh, today over Zoom. We shared out a Zoom link and uh, watched what we could. Uh, but I know Steve watched a bunch of stuff ahead of time because he did not join us today. So we're going to have a mix and match of what we all have seen. There are probably one or two things that one person saw somebody else didn't. So we'll, you know, we'll, we'll make that work as best we can. Um, and we're just going to start talking about some of the anime this season. As usual, we're talking about episode one only, um, no season twos or season threes, and no anime like, clearly aimed at very young children, um, like kindergarten age type anime. Nothing right. against it, just not our, kind of our thing. Yep. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of shows this season. And no ONAs, OVAs. Correct. Thank you, yes. So <laughs> only TV episodes. Um, so real quick, uh, real quick, Grant. I see you, and I okay. see you kind of half in the yeah. In the cafe. It's, it's, it's a it's a funky thing. I'll see if I can't make it a little bit better. Okay, so okay, it's not just me. No, no, no. That's 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 on my end. I was I was, I was like I was like oh yes, new computer still yeah. learning things. Yeah. What, what <laughs> I do? What I do? <laughs> nope, it's all good. Um, cool. All right. Yeah, let's dig in. Um, you know, we're not watching them all tonight because <laughs> that would take. A little bit of time. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get started with Aharun-san wa Hakaranai, um, which, which is, is an adorably cute show about a rather tall high school boy who sits down next to a very short sort of lowly girl next to him. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and yes, I love this show. Oh, my gosh. Hilarity ensues. Um, yes. Yeah, this was a this is a fun one. Definitely a comedy, kind of romantic comedy. Um, despite the fact that she does look very very young, um, and but I will say that they they make it sweet enough that it doesn't feel like too creepy. Yeah, <laughs> right. So that's fine. Um, and I was impressed that they didn't make her like say something at some point be like well i'm a year older than you and have the oh, right mm -hmm. you know like, they didn't go there so yeah like, exactly okay, good, good um yeah they, they mentioned that she is like you know a freshman and small for her age but yeah uh that's about as, as as far as that goes so yeah that's fine um but yeah this was just kind of cute pretty funny um uh obviously a very kind of soft relaxing atmosphere um, and, uh, just, uh, just a fun comedy. What did you guys think? I was so thankful for this, for this particular one, given, <laughs> I, I, it, you know, I, John, I kind of shared your picture that we saw that you put in the, <laughs> the cause it, this, this season was tough. Mm. This season was tough. Okay. Um, in terms of, of likability. Okay. Um, but no, this this I'm okay. I'm looking at my notes because I actually yeah. it's kind of weird and having two laptops now. That you can actually look at and just be like, like, like I'm like, what is this technology? Anyway, <laughs> uh, so uh, but it, it's it's really nice. It's very pleasant. It's not um, it's not sexualized. That's the other yeah. part of this yeah. is that none of this is is sexualized, mm -hmm. and it made me laugh out loud, mm. particularly the scene with the. Where they're trying to figure out how is he hearing her when no one yeah. else can, right? And he's mm -hmm. trying to he's trying to figure that out, and they get to a point where he's just like, "Is it bone conduction because she's so close and our bones are touching?" <laughs> and they're like, "Well, let's try that." And just like five times in a row, bam, bam, bam. bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like going, "Oh my god!" And she's like, she's just like non phased and yes. he's just getting yep. blood whipped. It's just like communication. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, but it is just adorable. And, you know, the fact that, you know, she, there, there's a connection happening and she's doing things for him, but she makes her tired. And I, you know, I, you know, the woman, the, the, the pretty lady who feeds me sometimes mm. is very much when she falls asleep, does those uh, things. Okay. <laughs> and so I was just like, I was like, yeah, I'm familiar with it. The leg akimbo and just, just <laughs> you know, but it was, it, yeah, this is such a cute little, nice, 
just like a palate cleanser almost. It's yeah. It's really nice. To, yeah. <laughs> well, if Brent and I discussed it. It's like it got very, very clear vibes of like Komi-san. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Where, yes. you know, yeah. you've got protagonist Gun and protagonist John. She's like, there's something specific about her. And she doesn't interact well with other people and she can't really get her point across to say anything and yet he's got this ability to be like oh i can hear what you're saying oh uh, mm-hmm. i need to figure out what's going on i what's you know how can i help you mm-hmm. to get better at you know communicating it's like well there you go yep <laughs> there you, yeah mm-hmm. so it, it's it for what i loved about comey i really enjoy Aaron as well it's it's really cute. yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah no you're absolutely right i was just like maybe they're trying to cash in on comey a little bit but that's okay because they're hitting the right notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sure this has been out. Yeah, the manga has been out for years. Probably one of those things. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, totally. Um, all right. Let us move on then to... Um, let's see here. To Ao Ashi. I was going to say Ao Ashi. Oh, that's interesting. What just happened here? Ao Ouchie. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Ouch. Got a weird size issue there. There we go. Um, no, no computer. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I asked you to do. Sorry. My computer has decided to, uh, rescale everything. There we go. Would you like a recipe for a cake? <laughs> no, damn. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. Get away from me, Clippy. Um. <laughs> you look like you need help. No, I do not. <laughs> I assure you, I am fine. Yeah. <laughs> so this call, is a call, the, fire. call for the police? No. <laughs> uh, this is a soccer anime. John, maybe Steve. Steve maybe <laughs> Steve. Uh, do you remember Which Steve, one is... the one we were watching uh, the last season that was like three on three boys, like almost like a soccer game uh, thing? Mm-hmm. Do you remember yeah. that one? Yeah. Yeah. I, Brent and I couldn't remember the name, but it's like the place where they're playing this opening match mm. is like the same damn stadium area. Oh, interesting. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And, 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 was, and, which, and which one was this? this Ao was... Ashi. Ao Ashi. Yeah. Um, A O A S H I. Aoshi. Aoshi. Um, I don't think I did. Okay. And, um, and that might and that may well, not be the worst thing ever. It, it, it's it's, it's it, it is a soccer anime. It is every soccer anime. It's you know it's it's all the things. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, the the thing here is that he's he's extremely good, but um, he's kind of self absorbed, not in a bad way, but just like he knows he's good. Um, yeah. And so his entire team just kind of depends on him and constantly passes him the, the ball. And he's mm-hmm. just the, the entire team. Um, and so he has to kind of get past that and start like relying on other teammates and such. And he gets scouted for a big, you know, thing. Um, of course. And, uh, yes. <laughs> and, and, and and do yeah. they get to nationals? Right. They, yeah. So it, that's, yeah. That's, mm-hmm. We kept saying that when we were watching yeah, them. Like, yeah, are they going to nationals? <laughs> it's, it's, it's very much that. Um, <laughs> There is some interesting sort of social stuff going on here. Um, his father has died, I believe. His mother is supporting the family, um, and uh, there's some like, uh, like one of the one of the boys picks on him for being poor, right? Yeah. So the kind of stuff you don't normally see in anime, like really delved into. Um, but other than that, it's a soccer. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a yeah. soccer. He's a loose cannon with a heart of gold who's going to take his team to nationals. Exactly. <laughs> with his super friendship power coon kick yes. that he can do from mm-hmm. midfield. Yeah. <laughs> super hyper ultra kick. Um, <laughs> speaking, Plus ultra. Speaking of, <laughs> um, that actually is a thing in the next anime we want to talk about, which is oh. Birdie Wing Golf Girl Story. <laughs> <laughs> I that was that is the first one I started on the list, and I was just like, please, God, do not let this be the way this season works out. <laughs> I on. love this show. <laughs> this was oh, insane. <laughs> it's, it's 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 like it's like golf yakuza. I mean, yeah, yes, pretty much exactly. That's why I like it. Um, <sighs> it's God. this is so weird. Um, it's it's golfing, but the main character basically takes on golfing challenges for money um she did not actually like golf professionally um and she's also a master of disguise right let's, let's exactly. add that in mm-hmm. yes <laughs> with a heart of gold because she has right. all the orphans with mm-hmm. her yep empire or whoever it is behind mm-hmm. the bar 
yep. in a place that doesn't want them because they're foreigners. Right. And, you know, so they can't find the jobs. And so she does the illegal uh, golfing challenge. Challenge. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit it through the train. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I can. I'm Blue bullet. Her... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, and, the, and the, the fact that she goes through this whole thing where, like, she's remembering what she's being taught on how to hit the ball as if it is, like, mm. shooting a damn gun. Yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. yep. And, and yes, Ginger, it is exactly Skate the Infinity with golf. That is a perfect yes. description. That's yeah. exactly what it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so it is, it is absolutely ridiculous. Um, she, she can do just absurd shots. Um, and here's the thing. I was like, if that's just the show, okay, whatever. Um, but the fact that at the very end, she meets a girl who just loves golf and is extremely good at it and challenges her to, to be like, like, no, you are too mercenary. Like you need to kind of chill out. You need to, you need to rebalance your view of the game. I'm like that. I want to see, you know, I, I, I want to see the tough as nails girl get kind of you know shifted by the Yamato Nadeshko, you know, girl. Um yeah. that that was an interesting twist. Well we'll see whether yeah, they use the hook yeah. to be like, if you get serious, you're so good. Do you know instead of playing for two thousand dollars, you could go for like the Ryder Cup for five hundred thousand yep. dollars oh what a score i could get out of the slums that way it's like you know it it plays then, itself then, to that end and then it turns into the anime version of happy gilmore that's how i see it. <laughs> <laughs> well they're already there with like you're gonna do the challenge with only three clubs yeah you're like mm -hmm. yeah okay yep. yeah they're mm -hmm. kind of right there with happy gilmore yep. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah ridiculous absolutely ridiculous um, unlike Dance Dance Dancer. Which I did not get a chance to say. Oh, that's which, right. Sorry, which one was that? Um, no. Dance which Dance one? Dancer, um, which that? is that was, uh... quite simply a ballet anime. Yeah, I didn't get to watch that one. Okay. Um, so... Brent, tell us about it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, let's transition that. There we go. Um, so Dance Dance Dancer starts with a, a young boy in an audience at, a, at his sister's ballet... Uh, recital, bored out of his frickin' mind, um, falling asleep, um, and they do their thing, and everyone applauds, and then, um, this guy comes out, and does this amazing ballet routine, um, which the boy is just mind-blown about, and, oh my gosh, did they put the budget into the dancing in this anime, um, it is frickin' beautiful. It is just perfect, perfect animation uh, of all this. And it, it does get you kind of excited watching this. Of How can the human body do that? Um, and just, just, this excites the boy, as you might imagine. Um, he's really amazed by that. Um, so he wants to take a ballet. He starts taking a ballet. But of course, ballet yeah. is for girls. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of his passion. He decides to... Uh, not do that and do Jeet Kune Do instead. Uh, that's kind of his, his thing as he grows up. Um, but then, guess what? Let's see here. He meets a girl. Yeah. And, of course, the girl, um, the girl's mother, teaches ballet. Ah. And she wants him to join them because they have a, they have a um, a competition coming up of some kind, um, a demonstration kind of a thing. And so um, she wants to join. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nation. <laughs> ballet Nationals. Um... <laughs> Our team can't make it in the Ballet Nationals <laughs> <Yeah>. without you. <laughs> um, and so it's kind of her pushing him to do it. And yes, they all have this weird like curve to their eyes, this, this little, like curved line on the bottom of each of their eyes, which is a little distracting, but it's kind of a thing. Mm. Um, and so she kind of pushes, of course, her mom is a complete hard ass, right? Um, and, uh, but he, he kind of shows up and the first episode is basically about him getting over the whole, you know, I don't want to do dance, I want to do Jeet Kune Do. No, you actually want to do ballet. Um, so it's very much kind of that. Um, 
on the one hand, I would say um, if, you know, ballet anime tells you, you know, I'm out, I don't think this is going to, like, completely convert you. But if you're at all intrigued, like, just the animation of the movement alone is mind-blowing and kind of jaw-dropping. Yeah, I like animation for, like, for that sake. Um, so that might kind of pull you in. And it is, like, legitimately a, a nicely crafted story of all these things happening, getting a sense of where he is, what's going on. Um, you know, you won't be bored. Um, I, I don't think any, any of the various beats are poorly done. Um, but again, if you're like, ah, ballet, just not my thing, totally understood. You know, you're, you're, you're not going to get, there's not going to be some major plot twist that, you know, whatever. Right. So, that's my thought. So, well, so there's, no weird. Dance -off, there's no dance off in the middle of the dark field in the middle of Tokyo with a train running through it. Correct. Right? There, there's that, not, there should have been. Okay. Okay. But they, they have that. to dance to save our dimension from yes, destruction. Exactly. <laughs> um, I was, we had discussed, uh, Brent earlier, mm -hmm. like, if somebody was really into Yuri on Ice, yes, yes, would this yes. would this like tap that same kind of vein where it's like, oh, I loved ice skating, Absolutely. the ballet on ice. Now yep. I would love this. Would be a great way now for ballet on oh, yep. okay. floor. That's absolutely it. Um, <laughs> ballet on floor. <laughs> on floor. <laughs> so the ballet on ice. <laughs> um, on uh, and and they do hint that there is a uh, I think a, a slightly older boy who is going to be his rival, who is like the, you know, really um, committed, serious, all I do is ballet all day, every day, kind of a, kind of a kid. Um, I look at pictures of Barishnikov all day right? long and mm -hmm. think, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to get that dynamic too. I mean, you have two pretty boys, basically. Um, but that could, it is also funny, I will, I will say. Uh, he comes to train at one point, and like, like, the first time he comes to the studio, there are a bunch of like, you know, six-year-old girls going around doing the thing, so, you know, whatever. Uh, and then he comes in later on at a different time, and it's all, like, 14-year-old girls, and he goes, nope, 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 not comfortable? Uh-uh, nope, nope. You're not going to wear, like, lycra around, you know, a bunch of similarly attired, no, no, no. Like, fair enough. I, I can understand that. Um, but, yeah, a, um, just kind of a fun one. All right, moving on to... Dawn of the Witch. Not Season of the Witch, but Dawn, Dawn of the Witch. Of the witch. Did I watch that one? Um, which witch did you watch? Exactly. <laughs> so I'll be honest, this one for me was a little paint by numbers. Um, yeah. You have a protagonist yes. goon in yes, a fantasy is. series. Yeah. You know, um, um, over energetic lowly girl, um, overexposed lowly girl. Right? Well, yes, there's also her outfit, mm -hmm. um, which is just kind of uh, all right, all right, anime, sure, gotta do that. Um, yeah. We'll see if we can get a, uh, an image of it. Um, uh, but there is a lot of world building here. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a whole thing going on with like the witches versus the church, um, as I recall. No, that's another one, isn't it? I may be getting that wrong. No, no, no. This is no, one. This, this, okay, this, this one. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It involves that one. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, and so basically, they're all being sent out on a on a, on a big mission, which, um, as you can imagine, doesn't go exactly the way they expect it to. Um, but there's like racism in the game or in, in the anime. Yep. Um, there's just mm -hmm. kind of a lot of stuff going on clearly in the background of the world, and. In fairness, the first episode is basically let's get the team together, let's go out on the on the, on the adventure, let's kind of get to know all the characters, um, and kind of get all that kind of stuff established, um, and kind of how the the the, um, the magic system works, so forth and so on. Um, uh, that's kind of it for the first episode. It's very much set up. Yeah, yeah, and um, it's just it's. I like the. <sighs> I like some of the characters that are going on around things, but cardboard protagonist Kun is yeah. just like, yeah. he's just, ugh, it's uninspired. I, I get where they put the effort into the world building and I get where mm -hmm. they're going to flesh him out. Mm -hmm. But it's like first flush, you're like boring. He's yeah. just, he's just yeah. boring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, it starts off with him and, you know, in, in sitting in the alley, like waiting to die or something. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, it's, you know, magical girl comes up and goes, "Oh, well, you have 
potential. We're going to take you, you have to the same this eyes. place. You have we had the same eyes, eyes and, and we're going to we're going to take you to this wonderful place. And it turns out like he's about to get kicked out because he's the worst student. <laughs> and you know he's this gloomy boy and walking all over the place. And he's just, and you know, and there's so many other interesting characters going on. Yeah. And by that, I'm, I'm saying that loosely within the anime. It's <laughs> really not that much of an interesting anime. Um, but I am entranced by the lizard guy, the lizard wizard. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I, I, I like him. But it's the the thing that I was like, you're very much right. It's it's all about world building in this first episode because it is about how they're saying witches are now allowed to be alive and no one's yeah. gonna kill them. And um, but this thing is kind of ongoing because it was the bad witch that did that brought this about in the wrong way, mm-hmm. and so they're sending these people off on this mission to go to this village to entice the normal human beings to be like, oh, witches aren't bad. See, here are the good things that we can do, and it's kind of like I'm kind of like, going, oh, we're gonna do that, okay, mm-hmm. and we're gonna have lizard boy, yeah, kind of rival with his little gang, and he's gonna mm-hmm. have the busty really busty girl who's top of the really class busty. Going with really him. busty really busty yep like 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 annoyingly busty like <laughs> as in like wow barbie dimensional kind of thing going mm-hmm. on and yeah, and, yeah. And, and but it, but at with, least at least steve her top goes all the way to a collar and she's buttoned up <laughs> versus cardboard protagonist good who's That's wearing weird. like a strapless dress for yeah. reasons <laughs> yeah reasons and reasons. and so, yeah so by the time I got to this, I, I woke up. I I, 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 I fell asleep oh. <laughs> three quarters of the way in. And then it was like, I was like, outro song. Oh, oh, oh. And then I was just like, um, am I going to go back? What do I have left on the list? Oh, a lot. No, we're not going back. And you know, I just went forward there. So, you know, I just think, I don't think there's anything bad or wrong about mm-hmm. it. It's just not, it's yeah. formulaic. Yeah. John? Uh, but for, you know, interesting world building off the bat, mm-hmm. yeah, the, the character Slate, mm-hmm. they're interesting enough, but they're not different enough. Mm-hmm. And yes, right. I understand we've been watching isekais and we've been watching yeah. fantasy stuff for like generations here now. Mm-hmm. It's like it's very difficult to come up with a group of characters yeah. in this other world yeah. doing something that's like truly groundbreaking. But Again, I've been I've been watching uh, Princess Connect Redive, mm-hmm. and there you've got a protagonist Gun who is kind of like he's hampered by something that happened, so his communication is really stilted. Mm. But I like the characters that are around him, and that there's enough goofiness and enough mm. serious subplot going on mm-hmm. that it, it it keeps me wanting to watch those characters. Mm-hmm. I don't really have any particular mm. joy in watching any of these characters. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the boob- boobzilla, the the girl is nice. <laughs> Lizard guy's nice, yeah. mm-hmm. but there's just n- none of the character model is mm-hmm. something that really entices me. Yeah. But I would, you know, it's funny you, sh- you should say character model because um, our our hero mm-hmm. looks like every single yeah hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's That's, nothing. Yeah, the eyes are neat. Him. I like mm-hmm. the way they've done yeah. the eyes. Yeah. Like especially the, the the lolly that reminds me of Beatrice from Ray Zero, mm. the the librarian weird uh, creature. Um, but that's that's it. That's the only like, you know. I mean, he's yeah, he's Japan. very modeled. Yes, yeah, I mean, they all look the same. We we, you know, we know he protagonist. That, that must have happened at some point. Now, I, I would say if you like fantasy, you probably want to give this a couple of episodes to, to start off with, because probably episode one is like not enough to really, you know get deep enough into the story, into the characters, kind of make them interesting for you. You probably need a few to, to get, get into it. Yeah. Um, but if fantasy is not your bag, this probably isn't going to, like, pull you in. Yeah. You know? Well, I, I certainly would like to see a, a episode two to see where how yeah. f- much further they're pus- pushing the world building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they didn't grab me with the characters. Mm-hmm. So it's like that usually, right. if you can yeah. grab my attention with something spectacular that's going to happen in that mm-hmm. first episode that gets me curious, yeah. it's like, okay, good. Yeah. I want to know how far they're going to push the world building and what mm-hmm. kind of dynamics they're going to have, but yeah. I easily could drop it by like episode three. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of have a feeling that it's like by three, it's not going to either yeah, I think that, that's really fair. do its thing. Yeah. It just has a feeling. But. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. All right. Um, speaking of characters, um, let's move on to Diamon. 
uh, which definitely pulled me in with his characters. Um, yes. This is the story of a young girl who is working at a traditional Japanese sweet shop. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought, Steve, this might be one of, one of yours. <laughs> This one so much. It's a, uh, this is this is the winner for me. Okay, uh, for, nice. for this for this season. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. um, <clears throat> I'm just looking at my notes, and there, it's like it's like actually shining off of my, <laughs> my other laptop here. Um, oh my god, this is so. Oh my god, by the end of it, I was just like, <laughs> here crying, here crying. <laughs> Must be dusty in here. I, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, it is so sweet, and that's yeah. no pun intended. It is just so. Mm -hmm. I just love everything about it. Yeah, uh, ditto. Um, so basic setup: um, the guy was the you know the only son of the proprietor of the multiple generation shop. He decided to um, go off and pursue a career in music, and that ended the way most careers in music ended, um, <laughs> which is not in a wild success. Um, and then he, uh, without getting too deep into what's going on, um, he heard that, that there that there it might be time for him to come back. Like his parents are getting older, and so he comes back and then finds out that a young girl was kind of dropped off at their doorstep. Um, and they decided to um, let her stay there, and she has decided to um, succeed as the next person, <laughs> you know, to take over the shop. Yeah. Um, but then, of course, he comes back, and he's a very laid-back, chill guy, um, yeah. which leads to uh, quite a bit of friction with the folks there. He's like, why did you leave? Why aren't you kind of taking responsibility? While well, she is taking all the responsibility on herself. And so it's kind of that dynamic between the two of them, where she's, she's 10, and she's trying to do all these things and be all these things. Um, and uh, they kind of want him to be more of a father figure to her, which, of course, is a little complicated. Um, yeah. So there's all that dynamic going on there too, um, but oh man, I love the the art style. I love the, mm -hmm. you know the the softness of all of it. Um, it is definitely very much a, a healing anime. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know the the and it, it just drew me. Well, first of all, it's a food anime too. Yeah. So that just that just. Okay, Steve. Here you go. You're gonna watch it and love it. Mm. Or, you know. You're gonna watch and it and eat those things. Listen, yes, I, yes, I, I know, know, right? You know, and mm -hmm. you know what's interesting is that they actually show the tools and what they're doing. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and all that. So that's so. There's part of that is of this anime is that there's actual somewhat of a hey, this is what this is and what it mm -hmm. looks like and how things go about and you know why it's important. Yada yada yada. And so that's that's kind of neat. And you know the girl's little story. Should, should I should I devote the story? Sure, or it's all stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the little girl who is dropped off. Um, apparently, her mother dies, and the father is just just can't do it. And mm -hmm. and you never see the father's face. All she knows of her father is that he has a guitar. So mm -hmm. periodically, she goes to the train station, heartbreaking, <laughs> waits oh. there to wait for the. And this is how they, the two of them meet. By the way, the, the the son, the wayward son, and and the young young girl, and you know, and he's, you know, he, he is laid back, chill, and kind of like, eh, you know, kind of you know, not wanting to work, but he rededicates himself quite mm -hmm. easily. Like yeah. he's he's, you know, his music career has failed. He's realized that. And he's just like in a, in a weird way, he's kind of like part of him is like going, I need to grow up a little bit now. Mm -hmm. I need to grow up yeah. a little bit now. So he's listening to that voice when he comes back to, to the shop and like, you know, I don't want to give any, a whole lot of it away, but you know, it's just the two of them starting to figure it out. And he's listening to his mother as, and doing what his parents are asking him to do, which is she's taking this a lot seriously, maybe more so than she should be. <laughs> and, and maybe, you know, if you can just kind of channel that help them channel because they're mm -hmm. grandparents at this point, yeah. I mean, she's yeah. really too young for them. Mm -hmm. So they're yeah. just like, like the mother just goes like, ah, you know, wait, this is what you can do. Mm -hmm. And it's just sweet how it goes on to there because it's, there's no, the thing I liked about this is that, okay, you got the drama of what happened, mm -hmm. but there's no big drama coming up. This is just yeah. them going through the yeah. motions of trying to figure out this life, this mm -hmm. new life for both of them. Yeah. And it's just wonderful. And on a side note, which I, which I thought was I, somebody, somebody in that production is a fan of Genesis. 
because of the band that the guy founded, oh. Chestnut Lion Chew. And where's the chestnut thing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. When they were performing, Peter Gabriel used to um, wear a flower and perform as a flower on stage oh, with Genesis. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Prog rock. For those of you, that's freaky. Okay, that's cool. did not yeah. know that. So, so I just thought that that was kind of interesting. But, um, but yeah, I just by the time I was at the end of this, at the end of this anime, I'm like all like freaking puddle. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh, where's the, 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 can I just binge this now? Please? <laughs> you know, I, yeah. So, can I watch yeah, all I'm, of I'm the really, mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I was I, I mean, honestly, if they said, you know, yeah, here's the next three episodes, I would've been like, okay, yep, we're in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I like the balance that they provide of like her, her getting to this family, getting to this sweet shop, and then you take that which could be you know quite this emotional you know mountain to climb, mm-hmm. deal with that, and what her reaction to this is, and the prodigal son coming back, and it's like you easily could have turned this into get out of my family's house. Who are you? Mm-hmm. You could also have turned this into why did you bother coming back? Mm-hmm. We've taken her mm-hmm. on. You're ejected. But it's like, yeah. no, you've 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 set this up. You've got this background kind of running. He comes back, and by the design of his character, he's like fine. She's gonna inherit it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. I'll help out. I'll do what I can. You know, I'll provide support here. You know, and and we'll get along. We'll get together. Mm-hmm. They don't eject him. He doesn't mm-hmm. re- reject them. Yeah. And it's just like right. no. It's just set up this very nice where you've got just a little bit of tension. Mm-hmm. You got a little bit of tragedy, mm-hmm. but it's like it's so nicely balanced. Yeah. That I want to keep watching this because mm-hmm. I'm excited to see how he grows closer to her mm-hmm. and how she opens up more to him yeah. and to his parents. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I mean? And we've got already, we know there's a kitchen staff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We right. see all oh, these yes. yeah. yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. know, that we, we, that all these people are going to play like sort of an integral part in like how all of this operates. Yeah. And it's just like, I'm, I'm so excited to see how this, this develops as their sweet factory family. Mm-hmm all embraces all these things that are happening Mm -hmm. oh boy it'll be so nice to watch yeah yeah um it's also kind of interesting psychologically because there's this sense that she's like i have to prove myself to these people yeah you know i i I have to do that you know i i i have to make myself useful for these people or else you know i will get rejected again um even though that's the furthest thing from their minds that's still kind of going through her head clearly um, well, so, a ten, ten year old, you know. It's... Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, sweetness, 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 all yes. the yes. way around. Um, um, <laughs> it's okay. Hard right turn. Um, <laughs> let's move over to Estab Life. Um, great Escape. Um, this is a, an all CGI anime. Mm-hmm. Um, was this the one that we took the screenshot from, John? I'm not sure. Oh, no, no. This no. is not that one. Okay, yeah. Um, that's fine. Oh, that one. I think I know what you guys are talking about. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that screenshot's from a whole different show. We'll get there. <laughs> um, so, I, I was telling these guys, when I was watching this, I was like, okay, what super popular mobile game is this based on? Because we've got, you know, a bunch of cute girls with guns, you know, um, uh, rescuing people, taking people out, shooting lots of robot enemies. Uh, it's very much kind of that thing. It's actually not. It is an original uh, multimedia work. So there will be a mobile game. There will be all the other things. Okay. Um, but it is cute girls with guns. With comedy, you know, because things always go wrong when they go on that out on their missions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, it's set in a very kind of weird world um, where people live in these cities that are like all walled off and they're not allowed to leave. And so these girls help people; they're extractors. They help people to to get out of one get city. Get out, together. exactly. Yeah. Get out. So, uh, so <laughs> as uh, <laughs> leave. Leave yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just like I was watching this, and it started off with the funeral scene, and I'm just like going, "The hell is going on here?" <laughs> and you know, they 
and the girl pops out of the trunk at which point you know i wish somebody had told me because i was just like oh, I, I, what, what? <laughs> and you know i just imagine myself in real life if i hadn't known that and suddenly the <laughs> casket opened the girl pops out i would be like ah exactly you know, just, just freaking out but you know as they go through the the battle scene the i i didn't you know I didn't feel the, the CGI animation and like you, like you guys, I was trying to figure out what the game was. Yeah. And, um, and I was just like, one, this just isn't anything. And then they had the wolf guy in there and I'm like, okay, so he doesn't even look like a wolf demon or anything. He just looks like yeah. a furry, mm -hmm. honestly yeah. to me. Yep. And, um, you know, so we, we get through it and what I, what I was extrapolating from it was here are these circular walled off cities. Mm -hmm where people are forced to live in and forced into a role and some of these people just don't want to live their lives anymore in mm -hmm. that way and so the extractors are are pulling them out to take them to another place mm -hmm. where they can make it or break it in another place mm -hmm. and of course it's an illegal thing to do so that's kind right. of the whole thing and so i'm watching this and i'm like thinking to myself going this is awful and <laughs> you know i was I was actually like, like my mind kind of went in the direction of like, how can I make this meta? How can I, mm. how can I turn this into something that that means something? Mm. And so in my head, I was just like going, okay, so these are people that are like actually dead, and this is purgatory. Ah, oh, nice. They're getting people from here to there, here to there. Mm -hmm. By the way, folks, I have no idea that this is the premise <laughs> at all. I was just trying to get through the anime. That's all, and and this is what I was trying to do, and I didn't make it. Mm. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't make it. I didn't make it get to the end. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it, it could be a metaphor for like you know Zaibatsu kind of life where you know you work forever yep. your entire life mm -hmm. in a Japanese company and there's just right. you know there's you can't get fired. You, you really they put you into like you know the punishment room, but you're, you you mm -hmm. can't leave. Yeah. Right. right. That this is like the extractors are getting you out of the company. You actually can quit and go to another job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's a big ass stretch. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, yeah. I thought it was interesting to watch. I, I, I liked yeah. the use of the CGI. It wasn't disruptive. Sure. Um, I, I can't say as like the plots really motivated me to watch more of it, mm -hmm. but I thought it was an interesting visual tour of what mm -hmm. they could do with the, the CGI in the stories. Mildly interesting enough. Mm -hmm. So hmm. it's extremely anime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you got to kind of turn your brain off for a lot of the elements of this show um, because the premise well, especially is especially kind of when bizarre. It, well, especially when the one girl gets hit. Oh yeah. And she's just like, oh, it's just I'm water, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Yep. And I'm just like, okay, that that's a little trippy. But, <laughs> all right. Well, if you got a big furry driving yeah. a car i mean it's reasonable exactly. to have somebody who's a slime mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly um it's the tang girls there we yeah. go e even though there's not ex actually sort of any indications of magic in this world but right. you know apparently there is mm -hmm. or something like that exactly <laughs> um um the, the only for honest to god the only thing that was like and this kind of tells you where my mind went i was like oh hey some yuri stuff okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And that made it okay for Steve. There we are. Oh. <laughs> Relatively speaking. There's hugging. Hooray. Hey. <laughs> um, all right. Um, let us move on to... Wow, it is... It keeps Tamani bouncing these, uh, uh, these sizes all over the place. Um, uh, we'll move on from there to the Executioner and her way of life. Um, the problem here is that we're going to spoil this. Um, we're going to inevitably have to spoil this because the spoiler is fundamental to the show. Um, because it's an isekai. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see this, so that's fine. Okay. Um, this is where the picture came from, Steve. Yep. This is the one. <clears throat> this is the one. Um. Okay. Waiting for it to catch up here. I, I'm, I'm going to actually, I, okay, I'm going to try to save the spoiler. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that um I will simply say that this is a <clears throat> complicated world with a lot mm. of factions that are violently opposed to each other mm -hmm. um which is very much not clear at the beginning of the show and then becomes very clear um, by the end of the episode um 
and so, jaw droppingly clear. Yes, at one point in particular. Absolutely. Um, there's a twist. I put it that way. Um, yeah. It's not Goblin Slayer. Well, it, it's not Goblin Slayer in content. Yes, but it, it, but it is Goblin Slayer in impact. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> like where it's like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, um, and, and again, kind of what we were saying before, um, a, uh, a lot of world building. Um, so this faction, that faction, okay, you don't like them. You're trying to stop this. Po political stuff going on. Um, and, uh, and then obviously some, some characters who are destined to meet in um, violent ways. Yeah. <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll have to get high dive and, and then try and figure this one out. Yeah, it's I I did not expect nope. <laughs> where where that was gonna go. I was kinda thinking it was gonna be, oh, you know, this is just, you know, gonna be a isekai kind of thing mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll see how this develop you know we'll just see what kind of take they can have on this oh boy did they take yeah. <laughs> this will be it will go down in my memory as being like yep. wow okay here we go mm -hmm. yeah i oh, wow i i, I want to i i want to know i mean they genuinely yeah. piqued my interest i really want to know how are you doing this and how did we get to this particular moment yeah. in time like and i'm that's not and that's not i'm doing that at a pure curiosity i'm not saying necessarily that i'm like enamored with any particular character i can't say yeah. that i'm you know the plot is is mm -hmm. the most amazing thing i've ever seen or heard or watched mm -hmm. but damn it's just there's a lot of impactful things yeah. happening in this episode where it's like i'm right. now i just want to know yeah. i just i want to know what's going on here <laughs> and attractive characters you know good animation budget, you know, all those pieces are there. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was, that was definitely a, it's hmm. very much an anime. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm going to walk into this going, okay, guys, get high dive. We're going to watch this. And then I'm going to be shooting you off messages in discord. Right. Damn, that you're making me oh, absolutely. That will absolutely you... happen. Yes. Yep. Uh -huh. That will be, <laughs> yep. that will, be what will happen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very much so. Oh, be prepared. Okay. Be prepared, everyone. Um, all right. Let us move on to fanfare um, of Arm um yourselves <laughs> with knowledge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, moving on to fanfare of adolescence. Um, this is a... Wow. <laughs> what you feeling, Steve? <laughs> Jeez. I like this one a Go lot. Ahead. I did not. Okay. <laughs> um, this is an um, anime about uh, jockeys, high school boy jockeys. Um, so high school boys getting into uh, horse racing, basically. Um, uh, big thing here is that the main character um, uh, was a uh, member of a pop idol group and has gotten rid of that to, or abandoned that to, to become a jockey. It was um, a Mr. Doctor. That was, that was the band. Right. Mr. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> um, and so he joins a rising class of like half a dozen students uh, because it's horse racing. It's not that big. Um, yeah. And they're going to this prestigious academy. That's one of the things I actually found interesting is this whole idea of, of the academy because it is, on the one hand, very much um, like you know, you're entering a high school, but on the other hand, it's very much a performance where like there, there's a press conference for all these people joining this academy uh, yeah. because they're going to be in the news and all that kind of stuff. And that kind of you very much get the sense of what that is is like of of the, those sort of organizations, which I found interesting. Um, I also like the fact that they, there is a, a a girl joining the group, yep. um, a, a, one, mm -hmm. one of the few girl jockeys, and she wears a boys' uniform because they don't have girls' uniforms. Like <laughs> they just never have girls, uh, and like they can come in, but there's just never that much demand. Um, so uh, that was kind of a a, a, a fun twist or a fun thing. Um, uh, the characters are very much just kind of, you know, um, their hair color kind of tells you who they are, kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the, the fiery red-haired boy, the um, nice sort of brown-haired boy, um, all that kind of stuff. The the, the kid with the, the uh, uh, Haku from Spirited Away kid yeah. is the analytical the one. Cut. <laughs> the, the bowl cut. 
Um, so it's, you know, they're all very much there. Um, and it's just about them kind of, you know, getting together and a thing happens. Um, you know, some horses break out and they, they try to help them out. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just very much, as John and I were saying, this is clearly aimed at 13 year old girls who love horses. And so also gives them cute boys to look at. You know? Yep. And Steve is not a 13 year old girl. Last I checked. No. So, hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> um, so, full transparency, for, for those of you who don't know, because I don't think I actually really talk about it. Um, but you're not a 13-year-old girl? No, that, 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 that pretty not. much surmised that wow. for now. <laughs> How could you tell? Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, so I, um, as a teen, rode horses, took care of horses. Mm. That's how I made my summer money. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I didn't ride equestrian and rode western. Okay. Sure. And um, so, you know, there's a lot of this stuff. So I'm, I was like, you know, I didn't really know anything about this. I just thought, okay, horses, you know, I, I know it's going to be on a different level than, than what I'm, you know, what I know. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's one of those things where I'm just like watching this. I'm just like going, nope, 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 nope. No way in hell. <laughs> Would anybody let you on a horse and ride it if you've never ridden a horse before? That's just that's not that's just not going to be a thing. Right, you because you will fail. It, because you will die. Right. You will die. Right. But they <laughs> nobody did. Right. Nobody did. <laughs> yeah. But what a and, terrible way to start the anime. They're new, right. They're new incoming class. Half uh, die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But but here's the thing. Here's the thing. So as I'm watching it though, is that you know like nobody did. Right. Right. You're correct. Yeah. But the thing is, is that nobody, when you, if, if you're, if you're not familiar with horses mm -hmm. and you don't just get onto a horse, let me put it right. that way. Yeah. That's the best way I can explain it. So when these, when they're just doing the thing and you come to find out that, you know, the one character is like never really ridden before, I'm just like, you would be screaming and pissing your pants. I'm sorry. Um, you know, cause it's just, it's a terrifying thing. And when horses break, it's, it's a terrifying thing. Mm -hmm. And the, that there's at least that part of it. Um, and it just, there's, there was just a lot of it that was just kind of like, you know, with academies and things like that. That's, I, I don't know. It was just, it just got to a point where I was just kind of like, um, maybe if I didn't know what I knew, mm. I think it would be fair to say that if, if you're not, familiar with this kind of thing mm. uh, like i am then this could be you know good for you or, or this could mm. be a, a fun thing for you but the thing that really got me <laughs> was towards the end of it um i i'm i'm okay with with uh, bl animes i'm, I'm fine <laughs> with that but when you contrive the, what I felt to be the entire episode for <laughs> one five second scene where the dude <laughs> catches him in his arms <laughs> And I'm just like going, so basically we let, this was the whole thing that led up to that. To me, that, that was that was like, okay, we're done. I, I, yeah. I, I didn't feel like the entire episode was leading up to that, personally. Yeah. Well, I, I will say, Steve, if, like, when Brent and I, you know, had, had this kind of understanding, it's, it's a very specific audience. Yes. <laughs> and it's just yes. like, okay. You know, yeah. when I was a kid, I lived on a farm too, and I, I would, my mother would make me saddle break horses mm. at like right, ten, right, right, mm -hmm. because a ten year old holding on for desperate, you know, and not riding Western, riding English, mm -hmm. I had no right. horn, so mm -hmm. I had to just right. hold on to the oh, saddle itself yeah. while yeah. whatever horse that's getting saddle broke is going to get right. in, the, mm. in this stall, <laughs> like, oh, this is fun, I'm gonna die. <laughs> So yeah, you're absolutely correct. It take, you don't just jump a horse and be like, I can ride! Sure. But <laughs> you with do. an anime <laughs> aimed at a very specific audience who are like, oh, That's having true. a horse would be so wonderful. I would just be able to like jump up on the horse and I could just ride. And mm -hmm. these guys, they, it, oh, they live, they're so lucky they're in this academy to be with the horses. Mm -hmm. As soon as you dial your perspective in mm -hmm. like that, it's got nothing to do with reality. No. You know, you've got like six kids and well, this huge facility and all these instructors for like a very small class. It's like, well, it's like Love know. Live. You know, Love Live yeah. is not a documentary right. of the music industry. Right. Yeah, I right, guess. Right, right, yeah, right, 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 yeah, right, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have people going. Well, my my idol group at my high school that <laughs> competed in the national competition wasn't anything like that. You're like, <laughs> no. 
these these are these you know spirited young men yes we go yes getting on, getting, getting getting on beautiful horses and being equestrian and this mm-hmm. is and, and, I, and there are people out there who are like oh, it's the anime i've been dreaming of you know <laughs> boys and horses <laughs> okay and then cool. they watch this video and hear me talking to going like, <laughs> you're such a philistine <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I i would like the horses to have been animated better mm. yeah um, but you know what? Uh, That's hard, though. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's yeah. difficult to get that the the motion of the horse correct. Yeah. Like, just in the some scenes, like where the horses are eating uh, on a little field, they've kind of got mm-hmm. the, them penned in temporarily. Yeah, just the animation of the horses could have been better. Yeah, but I totally see where this is. It's yeah. it doesn't fall into my zone of interest, mm-hmm. but I totally get how if. If you are into horses and you're into boys riding horses, that this is going to be a very nice ride. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> to see, ha, 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 ha. Um, it's going to be very nice to see how the individual boys' characters develop and how they themselves interact with one another. You know, who's going to be the ultimate rival? Who's going to be the one that drops out of the program? It's just too much pressure. I, I totally get that, and mm-hmm. this is you know, it like idolish kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. If this is totally where your jam is, man, you are just set for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I I applaud you, and I I'll wait for you know those out in chat land to report results at the end of the season because this is as much as I'm going to watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hear that totally. Um. All right. Let us move on to. Uh, Got to clip through. Um, the greatest demon lord is reborn as a nobody. Got to fix that audio there. Um, um, <laughs> so yeah, um, <sighs> we had issues, we had issues with this one. Like, I, I didn't dislike this. No! Oh, issues? No. Um, this is one of those things where I could not identify with the premise. Um, so basically, evil demon lord reincarnates. Um, decides to, to, to be to be a normal decent person this time around um, reincarnates we, we jump into him as a 10 year old and he is trying to like make friends but he doesn't know how, how to like not treat everybody as his servant basically um, and so it's you know wackiness ensues as you can imagine um, um, but then he's introduced to a girl who doesn't like want anyone to be involved with her hilarity ensues um and he ends up starting to protect her basically as the the, the basic concept of the first episode my problem john and i were talking about this that the issue is he's already 10 and he it's like he has no concept of interaction with any other human beings on the face of the earth besides his mom and dad and it was just so weird i couldn't understand it like they explicitly say they're like no he was born and he is now 10 years old he is it's not that he like did the sentence of a bookworm thing. Like he's he's had ten years, and all of this time he's he just doesn't know how to how how to address other people. It was just so bizarre to me. Um, and also, the first episode is kind of just that. Like it it is setting that up, setting that relationship up. It's fine. It's 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 inoffensive, if you will. You know, it every everything works. I like the characters. The characters are all very, you know, um, are all very uh, likable. Um, you know, I think the, the the boy trying to you're trying to be out there, trying to do the right thing, is fine. Um, the girl is kind of understandable. She's been kind of um, bullied. Yep. Um, and so she's pushing people back. That's totally fine. But just the basic idea just didn't connect with me. So. Yeah, you're right. You know, inoffensive, I think, is the best word for this. Um, it, it's the, again, it's not that it's the most horrible thing. It's just that it's not the, it's not really anything. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and and you're right. Like I was just like, if you had this goal of reincarnating yourself so that you can be a better person, but you keep, but again, you know, like I was just like, why did why isn't there at least one friend? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Who gets it? You know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. The the one friend goes. 
there's something weird about this guy, and I think I know what's going on, but, you know, mm-hmm. we're friends, we're buds, we're pals. Yeah. And, you know, and the parents are, like, totally not demon lord no. parent people. Yeah. They're, like, they're, you know, they're outgoing, and they're, you know, I would have thought that they would have been like, okay, Kate, outdoors you go. Come yeah, on, make some friends. Exactly. Oh, out, you know, <laughs> at, at, like, three years of age, right? Mm-hmm. So... Now, the thing that, that got me, the weirdness, actually, mm-hmm. of this that got me was that as they're going through the first opening sequence where, the talk, where he's talking about, I was this great demon lord and I mm-hmm. created this, you know, castle, this land, and I did all these things. I vanquished all my enemies. And then we go into, he walks into the, the crypt of the yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he walks away and goes, I will reincarnate as a better person next time. Mm-hmm. You know he's saying that he's going off to kill himself, mm, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know he's he's killing yeah. himself, and what we find out later on, he dies in battle with the gods. So he mm-hmm. he did death by gods. Yeah. Because he was just like, okay, I've done everything I want to do now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself killed, mm-hmm. commit suicide, so I can try this over again. It's yeah. kind of like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, kind of dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I just point, I just point out that's the demon lord. Like it, it, it's yeah. not like giant skull guy. You know he's right. he's a he's a successful person. You know he's he's yeah. arranged things to take everything over, um, which is one of the kind of interesting things about it. Is it it's 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 not like he made everyone just kind of bow before him. Um, right. He, kind of, he 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 did the smart move, but also and as you know again not really a spoiler, but as we realize the the crypt. Is somebody that um, he betrayed, basically, um, and so he's like, okay, nope, not gonna, not gonna do that. Um, and yeah, it, it it is very weird how that turned out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I want to see. This is another one I want to see where they're gonna go with this. Mm-hmm. But you've got someone who is aware of his origins, so it's mm-hmm. not any of this is a surprise, right? Um, even in his. You know, I was so powerful, I destroyed all my enemies, mm. and I also alienated all of my friends, and people were constantly in fear of me. It's like, well, so in the process up to getting there, mm. you had friends. Yeah. In True. the process of, like, becoming right. this big thing before yeah. you decided to reincarnate, you knew how to interact with people. Mm-hmm. Why now, if you are conscious of your of your prior incarnation, mm-hmm. why now are you so grossly inept <laughs> yeah. at like just addressing anybody? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's like I, that that part. There's like a there's a there's a disconnect in that mm-hmm. where it's like I would be fine yeah. if you just slowly like you know went to go pick up a glass of water and it levitated and that like mm-hmm. you know maybe you had this development where mm-hmm. it's like you yeah. slowly regained your memories of this to be like oh mm-hmm. wow yeah you know i'm i'm starting to remember no you seem to be pretty cognizant of what you're what had happened mm-hmm. what you're trying to do now and um you don't seem to have a problem really be at 10 years old exec you know exhibiting lost skills and godlike magic powers yeah yep yeah and that's you know, oh, that's fine. That's you know, it's kind of like it's hard yeah, to be he, ordinary when right. you can like you know, burn down half the forest, <laughs> and blow up all kinds of stuff. True, true. You I'm know, angry. Take goblins. it out on the trees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah it's like, it, it, you know, it's like I, mm. I want to see since we get progression from ten years old and a few years go by. Oh, it's true. Yeah, yeah. We see, we yeah. see how things are developing. You know, where the next leg of this journey is going to go. Mm-hmm. I want to see where that journey goes because. I think you – I didn't write it. I have yeah. mad respect for the people who write these things, for the folks that do the screenwriting portions, that have, how the adaptations work. I All props to them. I'm not making any any comments on that. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying I – my preference would be to nuance this a little bit more mm-hmm. in your development, yeah. to mm-hmm. give a little bit more curiosity, a little bit more mystery into what – you know what exactly is developing in him that mm-hmm. you know taps into his prior self and yeah. how that's going to overlay with the new stuff. that this i i it's kind of ham-fisted this first episode that's got it i want makes yeah. me want to watch more but i feel that it should have been done a little bit better and in Which fairness is. to it to that point since we know that it ends with kind of a time skip of a couple of years this is all set up yes 
So it could be this right. is all just getting, okay. We we kind of had to explain all this stuff. It didn't really work that well. But once we get into the actual characters and right. interactions, it'll be better. Yeah. Who who knows? Let's sprinkle in the information as we go. We don't have time. Okay. Yeah. Info dump. Yeah. <laughs> there you <And> go. <laughs> honestly, this feels like it should have been the first five minutes of the first episode. Like if it, yeah, if it had I, just been a you yeah, know. Yeah, that's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, that this this would have worked actually better as like a super short condensed. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah. I was this, this happened. Now I'm I'm developing into this new world, and here we are. Yeah. Now story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Don't give us time to ask questions. <laughs> yeah. Because we will ask. We will. Questions. Yes. Exactly. We'll pick this apart if we have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's talk about Healer Girl. Um. This is one of my surprise, um, um, uh, surprise anime of the season. I really, really enjoyed Healer Girl. Um, it is set in a modern world uh, in which um, people can learn to heal through song, like literally physically heal through song. Um, and uh, this girl is an apprentice healer, uh, working with two other girls um, on that. Um, and... Um, it is kind of about their apprenticeship with a, uh, a young woman and what that is like. Um, on the one hand, it's very much sort of slice of life. You know, I'm a young person out on my own for the first time pursuing this dream of mine. I love this thing that I do, but I kind of mess up sometimes. Yeah. All that kind of thing. Um one I'm so clumsy occasionally. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> um, one of the things I really appreciate is that they really integrate the idea of music into the show in the sense that, like, as the girls are hanging out, they will then, like, practice by kind of breaking out into song and kind of composing songs as they're, as they're, they're talking. Yeah. Um, and so you get these little, um, like, not quite musical numbers, but they're kind of, you know... Um, uh, you know, what do you want for breakfast? Kind of thing, uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, but then there's also, um, besides all of that, there is also like some legitimate drama of th they're in a medical profession. And so you know, th they have a duty of care to their patients. What is that like? And as apprentices, you know, there's only so much there they can do. So there's that right. tension of, of all that stuff. Um, and so on the one hand, it's, like, it's literally healing anime. <laughs> it's literally a, a healing anime. But um, um, it does so many things. Well, I should also point out, um, they lip sync all the songs. So when they are singing, you see them actually doing, singing all of the songs in the entire episode, which is just so nice. And it's not yeah. just, you know, three lip flaps, you know. Do, 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 do. Um, it really makes the songs come alive. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this as a, um, uncomplicated, if you will, just here's the premise. We just got girls who are, you know, doing their thing. Um, just enough drama to kind of make that work. And I really enjoyed the songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, just, cause they were you know, silly at times, like the, the singing when they're in the room and just sort of mm -hmm. singing what they're doing back and forth to each other. But it just, you know, ah, oh, the sucker for singing stuff, singing shows. It mm. just seems apparently after Love Live, it's just like, <laughs> oh, if you got a good song and, you know, no dance, but if you got a good song uh, uh, repertoire in the, in the show, it's just that'll get me just to enjoy the music, mm. which, you know, the, the healing nature of the idea of the whole print, you know, yep. series is, healing songs and it's like yeah it makes me feel nice to hear them sing yep. um i like the way that they've <clears throat> they've brought an interesting premise mm -hmm. without necessarily yet complicating it with oh there's healing music because that's magic mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. no that's that's not even really addressed this first episode there's just mm -hmm. there's healing music mm -hmm. And then there's all the rest of the modern world. Everything else is yep. going on. It's doing its thing. It's it looks very very normal like now. So mm -hmm. very slice of life. Yep. Except for this one element. Mm -hmm. um, I also like the fact that their teacher, you know, not only admonishes them about you know mm -hmm. don't go off and do this mm -hmm. thing on your own because there are certain conditions, but 
you see at some point where uh, their teacher is talking to medical crew yeah. and gives like medical information. Oh, the blood pressure's normal, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, is normal. You want to check out, she, you know, this patient has this condition. I've uh, arranged for such and such hospital. So it's like you get more than, oh, this is fun singing girls. Mm -hmm. and there's healing to like, no, there's like a really, there's a real vibe here of mm -hmm. like, these are serious medical professionals. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I really respect the fact that you took that tone with it. Mm -hmm. And that they address, there are three types of medicine, Eastern, Western, and healing singing. Mm -hmm. As like, that's interesting. You've now injected a, a third medicinal approach. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like that, I, I, I have respect for that. I want to watch more of this because I enjoy the music. I want to watch more of this because I want to see how do these medical professionals work in this world. Yeah. Um, I want to see how these girls develop, you know, their unique mm -hmm. personality types and how they, you know, the things that they're going to encounter. Ah, yes, please, more, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. See, did you get a chance to see this one? I did. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> no, no. Um, so, of what I watched, okay. this is the one I felt bad for. And I felt bad for it because I watched it immediately after Fanfare. Which ah. meant that it did not get a fair shake for me, so I'm gonna have to rewatch okay. this. Okay. Um, there were, John, you brought up some elements that I was intrigued by as well, mm -hmm. like you know some of the more like you know, you know, hey, this isn't just a la 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 la. You're healed. It's mm -hmm. like you know, okay, we know, we have to know X to know what song to sing yeah. to achieve Y, mm -hmm. yeah. and you know that kind of stuff. So that was interesting, and in, you know the the headmistress who was just like. I knew that you did this, that you that you sang a song and healed that boy's, you know, scraped knee, don't do it again, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a thing going on. So I thought that was kind of interesting as well. And the integration of, of it was 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 interesting. I couldn't I just couldn't get into uh into the I just couldn't get I just couldn't get into Fair. it. And I think it was yeah. just I think Fair. but 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 I think that is only because I had such a visceral reaction <laughs> to that fair where I was just like hate hate you know, so I think I want to try to watch this again okay. and try to get a better now that you know I'm like I got the hate and rage for fanfare <laughs> out of my system let the music um, heal you Steve. heal you yes, like, yeah, the magic heal healing you. so um yeah so yeah so I I, I, I I didn't give it I felt like I didn't give it a fair shake so okay. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it again fair enough um Cool. Um, let's switch on to something somewhat different. Um, <laughs> namely, The Heroines Run the Show. This has a couple of different titles. It's been translated a couple of different ways. Um, basically, you've got your energetic Genki girl who is, she's moved to Tokyo to run track um, from a tiny little podunk town. Um, and she ends up sitting next to um... Uh, two boys in her class. We'll see if we can get uh, a view of this. Um, see. No, I didn't, I didn't um, get to see this. Is on okay. high dive? I'm not was sure. Was this on high dive? I, I, okay. I'm pretty sure it's on Crunchyroll. But it's Crunchyroll. Yeah, it's Crunchyroll. And um, what's it called again? Um, the the heroines run, run the show, show. But again, there's a, a couple different titles. Yeah. Um, okay. And so she goes to school and she, she ends up sitting between um, two boys who are both members of a pop idol duo uh, who go to the school um, and who of course you know they're, they're rising stars everything is going great but she knows because she saw something behind the scenes that um, there's a lot of tension between the two and they, they do not like each other as much as they appear to like each other on the various late night talk shows by the way there's a scene with a late night talk show and oh my gosh did they get it right um, you know all of the like overlaid text as they're talking, everyone laughs every three seconds. Like, it just feels yeah. exactly like one of those Japanese uh, shows. Um, but, um, yeah, she, she's very hardworking. She needs money. She tries to get a job. Um, and, of course, the job she gets, as you might imagine, is managing the two boys um, as, her, as their, uh, their kind of production assistant manager type person. Um, what I liked about this show is that there's, um, um, while there's an earnestness to it, there's a lot of comedy. 
Um, it is kind of primarily a comedy. Um, you know, there's some fun. Let's see if we can find some things. You know, she's obviously kind of doing her thing, um, but we'll have some fun little super deformed moments with her um, as she's kind of reacting to things. It, yeah. it is a show that very much does not treat itself seriously. Um, and so I felt for this kind of a concept where it's kind of, you know, girl caught between two hot guys. Um, and especially the fact that... Um, <laughs> That's a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also really like the fact that, like, it starts off with, you know, neither of them are princes. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, one of them you, you see at a police station, like, he's clearly gotten involved in something. The other one is like, I hate your guts. Um, because of, you know, and... Uh, Presumably because you're getting in trouble, we can't have that, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but so setting it up so it's not because we're talking about like it's 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 not like this is aimed straight at girls because ooh too hot guys, and it's not um, uh, obviously aimed straight at guys because ooh cute girl. Like it's it manages to hit you know multiple different demographics nicely, um, all those various things. That said, again, it's just kind of this cute sitcom uh, of this girl involved in things. Um, I don't think it's going to blow you away or change your life, um, but yeah. it is definitely a, a fun show for me. Yeah, the I only got to come in at the the latter mm. portion of the of the show, and it's it the vibe I got from it is something that it I, I'm right down the middle. It's it's neither good nor bad. If mm. I get time with everything mm. else, <laughs> everything else <laughs> I gotta watch. Yeah, right. Yep, that. I wouldn't mind seeing how this develops. It's, you know, it's ha ha ha. You're all in the same class in, in school. Mm -hmm. And now she's your like production assistant. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so, you know, how's that going to work with the dynamics in their class? Are people, mm -hmm. you know, does this raise her from yeah. unknown country bumpkin to like, mm -hmm. oh, now she's super cool. She's with the, with yep. the, you know, hot boy, a hot boy B mm -hmm. or does this, you know, add different layers of dynamics some people are like oh that's so cool others are like oh she's just in it because you know they're yeah. hot mm -hmm. and that you know you've got now this like backbiting kind of going on mm -hmm. in high school class if i got time to get to it i'll watch watch some more mm -hmm. you know it's it yeah. seems interesting enough it seems funny enough mm -hmm. if i have the time and i will put out she does make friends in episode one so at least it's not like everyone will be against her um, right. But, you know, it, it, exactly to your point, I, I'll be curious to see if, like, if they become kind of the sole bulwark against everybody else, yeah. or if whatever, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, Leave her alone, she's a good person. Mm -hmm. No, she isn't. She's just trying to get close to hot guy A and yeah. turn him <laughs> against hot guy B. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that's happening. Like, we know that's coming. Um, all right. Moving on Same to In the Heart of Kunoichi Tsubaki. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, this is about Jesus. a um, a bunch of cute little girls who all live together and are training to be shinobi. Um, uh, I can't get to see this one either. Okay. Uh, um, oh, I would have loved to get your opinion on this one. Um, because uh, when I say a bunch of little girls... They they're not allowed to be near any men. The, the men live away. Yeah, um, of course they do. Right, and so they're they're all sitting there, um, you know, kind of doing their thing. But unfortunately, some of the other little girls have run away to beat the men, defeat the men, and and show you know how how much better the men, the men they are. Um, uh, and, and these are the two kohai, two of the main characters, senpai. Um, but unfortunately, um, senpai is a little bit older. And so she's of an age. And so she's curious about many men for other reasons. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. So she wants to know, kind of, are, are men really as smelly and dirty and, and uncouth and, and and weak as everyone says they are? I, Barbarians? I, I want to know. Right, you know. I, I just I just want to see a man once. I'm, I'm curious. Um, so it's that. Um, it... Definitely does not take itself seriously. <laughs> yeah. It is definitely ridiculous. It is goofy. Is, 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 is this in the vein of ninja nonsense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ninja nonsense. okay. So so I would probably on one level pretty much enjoy it. Oh, it's it's very <laughs> yeah. it's very it's popcorn. You know, it's yeah. just you know, yeah. you, you, yeah. you it, it's fun. 
Um, and uh, yeah, there, there's nothing serious going on here. There's no dark plot. They better not have yeah. any dark plot. Right. It's just not. Uh, right yeah, I'm not expecting there's ever going to develop any kind of dark no. plot. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I, I I will say um, the girls wear very ineffective outfits for for <laughs> combat a lot of the time. <laughs> Um, no, and that's that's just weird on again like eight year old girls. I just just gotta say it. Um, but yes, and there there are some anatomical liberties taken with some eight year old girls that are also curious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but, there's that whole thing going on, but not unexpected, I suppose, in anime. So mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's cute, goofy, ridiculous fun, um, and the action animation is very well animated. Yes. Um, you know, fun action sequences, um, despite the fact that like, there's there, there no bad guys yet. Like, it's, just, it's, just, <laughs> it's just trying to recapture, you know, wayward girls. Yes. But. The incessant droning about men, they're stinky, men, mm-hmm. they're, they're horrible, men are terrible. Mm-hmm. I, th- that, that was clearly established in the first, like, you know, half of the show that you didn't yeah. need to have it the entire yeah. show. We got, the, we got where you're driving with this here. Mm-hmm. That's, that's fine. Thanks for the re- reiterating it every five seconds yeah but other than that yeah i mean this is this is one of those where i have a good feeling that it's going to be it's been a hard day i'm tired <sighs> i just i'm gonna watch some ninja nonsense mm-hmm. and just see yeah. just watch it sit, yep. laugh a little be mm-hmm. like oh what kind of crazy misha gossip will mm-hmm. we get into this time yep absolutely cool cool um speaking of ridiculous um, and 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 laugh out loud comedy. Let's talk about love after world domination. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed this one. I, oh, I, <laughs> yes, one. this is great fun. Um, so this is the story of um, a wayward Power Ranger. Part of the gelato. Five. <laughs> gelato five. I thought it was a mistake. I really thought. I did not think they were going to go there until they did the transformation sequence. I'm like, oh, oh my god, they really made gelato. <laughs> Fantastic. The slow arm movement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh yes, it's it's With glorious. A strawberry sword. <laughs> <laughs> Son uh, of Howard <laughs> Slash. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's it, oh. <laughs> it's everything's there. Um yeah. it's 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 just wondrous. It, it really is, and it really does. It hits all the tropes. I was like going I was like going, Oh my god, thank god I don't take common rider so seriously because <laughs> yeah. So offended by this, but it was just so. Oh, it was great, and I just love you know. And they had all, they had the grandpa character. Yes, I'm they, saying. You know, they had it all right. They had mm-hmm. it all right, and they even. And of course, I laughed hysterically at the minion henchman. Of course. He, <laughs> he, he, yeah, it took me back to the. This is a freaking thing that the three of us watched with uh, Santa Claus and, and oh, Easter Buddy. Oh, <laughs> and Easter Buddy, like, and, and we go, so whenever the minions get like nailed and they're like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh my God, I just died every single time. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's fantastic. <laughs> um, but it's not just a Power Rangers uh, parody. No. Because um, Red Ranger has gotten himself in love, sadly. At first sight. At, pretty much at first, first sight, sight, yeah. <laughs> um, with the evil um, lady, one of the general type, you know. Skeleton. Sh- yeah. What is it? Shinigami girl. Hime. Yes, exactly. So Reaper yeah. Princess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Um, and so she's not like the leader of the organization. She's one of the, you know, half dozen who kind of lead missions and so forth. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, he, he, he's head over heels. And so, um, of course, they decide to date. Because um, that's what you do. Um, if, if, if you call it that, because both of them are so inept. At least this was a refreshing of it. Yeah. Like, now, we should probably start dating. Okay, I 
have no clue what that is. <laughs> Neither do I. So let's figure it out to get. I'm like, oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we're like ridiculously like powerfully skilled and we're you know, physically able. Right. Uh, how do you hold hands? <laughs> well, like, yeah, I just love that. We're gonna hold hands, and it's just this, it's like wholly intense, like. He's like, mm. you know, here's my hand, oh, hold it. Oh, and she's just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my God. And the only thing I can remember right here in my head was huge. I'm like, you know what? They hold hands, they're pregnant. Exactly. exactly. And I mm -hmm. said the same thing. Yep. Like, right when we were watching, mm -hmm. I'm like, there we are. <laughs> Bang, pregnancy, right yep. there. Exactly. <laughs> how do you explain that to your evil organization? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And I just love how it because I'm going, Oh, Red's got this, and they're just like, like, like pretending. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, it's like, like, meanwhile, you know, like this apocalyptic battle is going down yeah. over here, and they're just sitting there, and I'm like, like, oh, look at my cat. Look at my cat. Yeah. Yeah. Cat, I love her cat. You know, he's just so. Oh my god, it's just yes. There will be more. There oh yeah, mm -hmm. I have to watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there were moments that I pointed out to you, to mm -hmm. you, Brent, where. They did some like still shot of her. They obviously there's fan service shots of her yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, they did a really there was one that stood out to me, it was a really particularly well where mm -hmm. she's just kind of looking askance at, mm -hmm. at Red Ranger mm -hmm. Fudoku, and you just see like this golden circlet of hair that's mm -hmm. on one side and another piece of there yeah. where they re they just spent a lot of time at moments rendering beautifully some of what's going on amidst all of this ridiculous yeah <laughs> farcical <laughs> story that's happening this is like it's oh my a God. bear with twin cannons it was, like, <laughs> yeah. it was like you know what it was it was gun cannon bear coon that's it was it was yes there it oh. is culver culver kuma or whatever his name was. <laughs> yeah oh my God. absolutely they, they, they put in the time delightful it, yes yeah she's cute no question oh yeah yeah. Um, all right. Uh, let us move on in the alphabetical listings to do 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 love all play, which is badminton. Yes, I missed that one. Yep. Uh, I didn't miss much. It's a badminton anime. It, 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 yeah. It's, you know. It, 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 that's, that's what it is. It's that thing. Um, there is a surprising amount of like family drama into it. Mm -hmm. um, because the main character um, um, basically gets scouted, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Um, and oh yeah, yeah. And um, the thing is, like, he'll have to um, uh, abandon his current team, basically, and his friends to go to this, you know, elite academy. Right. Um, and he, you know, a lot of the joy of badminton for him was playing with his friends. So it's you know, do I kind of do that yeah. thing? It's funny the. Um, um, my boss at my, my last company, um, his son was like 12 at the time and was really good at baseball. And he said, we're, we're getting to a point where we're going to have to like make some decisions. Like, are you going to pursue this professionally? Because we have to decide now. Yeah. You know? You know wow. We, we have to, you know, yeah, if you're no, going to be there, like, you, you start making those steps. It's not like you're, you know, working nine hours a day, but... You know, you may want you to take start, training. Be, yeah, exactly. So it's like coaches and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. yeah. So wow. um, um, it is. It is kind of that big decision for him. Um, and what is he going to do with his life? Um, and of course, there is a. Um, there's another guy um, who the main character has seen on TV is you know the the, the the champ that he's he's just so enamored with, and then he meets in real life and is he's different. Than what was expected. He's a jerk. He's a jerk. Oh. <laughs> <Dun, No. dun. laughs> yes. Uh, so there's all that kind of stuff happening. And you get to choose the other. He's the, the John McEnroe yeah. of, of, of <laughs> Badminton. The bad boy of Badminton. Exactly. Oh. Why didn't they call it Badminton? Um, exactly. They don't call it Goodminton, do they? No, no. It all makes sense. <laughs> um, it's and all also... coming together now. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, so I watched this, and, and I'm just gonna look at, at my notes here for for a second. I'm gonna skip the first sentence because that's. that's <laughs> I, I can't say that. It's. I uh... can't say that. I can't say that. 
over dramatic in first 30 seconds. True. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the one thing I can say, but to your point, uh, Brad, um, it does give a surprisingly a good amount of that where, you know, you're saying, you know, actually for a change, instead of I'm going off to the school and all the friends are going, yay, good for mm -hmm. you. It literally is it's the friends actually having to talk them into, Hey, no, this is your dream. You're going to do that. Well, one day I'm going to have to play against you. Well, we'll figure that out when we get to it. Yeah. But it was, there was actually, you know, conversations with that. Mm -hmm. There was conversations with the, with the older sister mm -hmm. who is kind of like, uh, you know, trying to deal with the parents and saying, Hey, no, no, no guys, you need to listen to what he wants. Mm -hmm. And it's a fair amount of, while it is kind of over dramatic, at least it was a little bit different than, you know, you know, oh, I stopped by the television one day and I just happened to see some guy hit a shuttlecock <laughs> yeah. and I was just like, oh yes, that's what I want to do with my life. You know? <laughs> It's none of that, but you know, and but you know, they they do well setting up the the reason why he likes it, and it, yeah. it is because of his yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. Which you know, after it, by the end of the episode, you're gonna go, hmm, they're gonna go all the way to national. He's gonna have to play against his friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, it's not hard to figure out. But, <laughs> no. You know. Hopefully they'll take a dramatic twist and he'll bet money against him, his own team, <laughs> then throw it. Yeah. And then they'll have like the reunion party at like the Ritz in Hawaii or something like that. Be like, you threw the game and we all get to go to Hawaii. Hooray. <laughs> yes. Isn't that great? Sure. <gasps> you, uh, you, you don't think it'll go there? <laughs> no, I think it has more of a chance of like him like going up against Birdie Girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the hired, the hired bad man. <laughs> uh -huh. I would want to watch you that. Thought, you know, I was, I was your former friend, the captain of the other badminton team. <laughs> no, I'm <a> Birdie Girl. <laughs> <laughs> they paid me to play badminton today, and I'll play it with this golf club and this lead pipe. <laughs> okay, back to the Happy Gilmore. Exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's 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 a sports anime. <laughs> it, in the it just, end, at the end of the day, it just said anime. that. It just, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, but definitely hitting the like I, I will also point out, I did appreciate the fact that, like, like his parents are like, no, like you're not going to go to some badminton academy, and like they didn't say it, but it's also because because it's badminton, right? It's not soccer, right? You know, it's like, right. it, it is kind of a, a, an unusual thing to watch. So it's like fair enough there. Um, it's not like the you know the typical parent where it's like you know you want to go into baseball. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, who has know, ever been right famous and good at baseball? Right, huh? yeah, name right. for me a name. Uh, okay, well, that, get out well, the book. The yeah. Right, you know, it's like, you know, it, how, what do you, where do you go with badminton? I mean, it's yeah. not even, you know, the Olympics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I would like to know is who's the the fans of that one? Right. Mm -hmm. So you don't watch the World Series of badminton every year? broadcast dude, from dude uh, i watch from curling. somewhere <laughs> <laughs> I, I watch curling oh the world series of curling yeah. <laughs> broadcast from canada presumably i'm guessing if there's such a thing yeah i'm a professional magic gathering viewer myself that's just that's just, <laughs> just hey oh. hey if you know starcraft if people if people can make a living off starcraft right True. i mean why not <laughs> Wow. Gosh. I just want to go to the World Series of Bird Whistling. There we are. Mm -hmm. I think that's where the next... That's the anime I want to see. <laughs> the Bird Whistling Sports Anime. Bird Whistling? <laughs> My whistle, it's so, it's so dry. No, no, we'll lose. I, I should pay somebody to make that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Can you um, do? Can you do a hummingbird whistle? Uh, they whistle. <laughs> oh, he has the hardest one to do. <laughs> he has the lips of God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> we have our one teammate that we. Oh, have to, like... it just became another type of anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to go there, but. Oh. And, All right, and, and the the character that, who is like the second best guy mm -hmm. does a crow. Ah! <laughs> no, it's no. not a whistle, damn it! We have to retrain him. But he he's just so good at the call that they exactly. allow it. <laughs> he, 
he's like, he's he's the best at doing that thing. <laughs> oh, thank goodness he's on the team. Wow. Oh dear. <laughs> I, I, you know, it, as stupid as it sounds, that would be the most hysterical sports. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. To make yes. It the Nationals a bird whistling. <laughs> oh. All right, let's let's clear the palate <laughs> with uh, mahjong solpon. Um, <laughs> this I, this took me by surprise. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Three minutes of pure fury. <laughs> So this a minute and a half turns out. I just saw the, oh, the thing. Half, yeah, sorry. And and I, I, I didn't know it either. Um, so this is based on a browser-based mahjong game, um, where you have cute girls playing mahjong <laughs> and you pull them in, and so they're making this anime out of it. As and this is clearly kind of a, hey fans, we made money off of this. Here's a fun thing for you, right? Like that's all it's meant to be. Right. Um, so it's you know cute little anime characters playing mahjong, interacting with each other. You know. Um, insulting each other and then but I was so confused with Truckoon Truckoon? yeah isn't that the one where, where the, the the truck went into the in, into the temple no I don't think so no oh my god maybe a later what? episode not an episode one I don't think no you know what uh oh, Steve! Did you watch uh -oh. something from another dimension that we're not aware of? I, no, there there was something that I watched and I thought it was Mahjong Song Pong. Okay, it's, it, it's it's a prank, right? Episode, right? No, no, I don't know. Oh, uh -oh. maybe you watched like episode watched. two accidentally. Was I? I was on fire. Okay, that, that's that, that explains like, it. That's the only yeah. explanation. Yeah. The only you should explanation. never okay. drink the thing out of the brown paper bag you find out in front of the store. Mm. Never, ever do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I'm the one that's supposed to be selling it. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, okay, okay, so explanation. I, I'm not exactly sure what I watched, but it was a minute and a half. It was, it was okay. very yep. short. It had cute girls, and it had Mahjong. Okay, yeah. Only, okay, yeah. and it had a... A, I swear to God, there was a there was a, a bus that okay. crashed into a temple, okay, and that they had isekai into the mahjong world. Wow! I swear to God, I watched. Okay. I want to see. I want to see what this is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it, and, it, and it's a total prank. If I, at the end of it, it's just like, like, oh no, we were just pranking you. Okay, gotcha. Like, literally, yeah. literally, okay. just like at the end of the two minutes. <laughs> Oh my wow. God! Did I eat mushrooms? Yeah. Did I, did, Maybe did they showed I you like the latest ball? episode instead of the first episode or something. I don't know. Was it a preview? I have. I, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh God! Don't know. There may be okay. there, there may be some hours of my life I have missed. <laughs> oh boy! The alien abduction has gotten to you. There we go. <laughs> um, All right. So you guys continue on. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, cute screwball comedy with characters, and it's so short, it's just, you know, here's a couple of yeah. jokes, it's over. Yeah, um, I mean, the characters got a cute, I, I, I thought, Brent, when you had mentioned it before, it's like, I thought, look, trying to look for characters, like, the yeah. kitty girl one reminded me of a character from Edotama, mm -hmm. and it's like, and it feels like these characters should be from another series, and I mm -hmm. think you had said, oh, they're just in this game. Yeah. Like you get these characters as you yeah. play the uh, online game. Mm -hmm. That's where they come from. But it's like the character that they're using, it just, they really feel like you can almost place them in other anime. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like, it just feels so close to that where mm -hmm. it's like, huh. Yeah. I thought this was one of those multimedia projects where they threw a bunch of characters into this, but no, it's actually yeah. based on a Mahjong game. Yeah. Um, I, if, like, you know, if I only had a minute and a half to yeah. burn before I was doing something, you know. Sure. I might consider it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, and if you're really into Mahjong, time. it'll be excellent for you. Yeah, so absolutely. Well, I, I don't know, around. because there's like no Mahjong in the show. So who knows? Well, they, they showed the Mahjong tiles. So True. Mahjong tiles that, exist in, in universe. That, that counts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that counts. Um, speaking of light and fun. So, oh. So real quick, yeah. um, just a, a technical issue. Is, is the chat on? I have I not seen, seen any chat updates in a well, while. Turn it down. Yeah. yeah. Just wondering. I, yeah. I saw Steve say, huh? And that's it. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Don't know. 
Don't know. That was my alter ego that watched the <laughs> Mahjong. Okay, I'm going to post a cat, in, yeah. a cat in a box. There we go. Does that, does that show up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, th- okay. I think folks just need right. to Fair enough. All right. Um... So speaking of light and fun, just, they're, they're just all astounded by my slipping into insanity. <laughs> yeah, they're stunned. <laughs> stunned it's a stunned silence. silence. Yeah. Um, speaking of light fun and being stunned into silence, um, let's talk about Miss Chachiku and the little baby ghost. Oh, oh. Yes. Um, no, I did not get to see. That. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, Steve. Damn, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> this is. You want you want cute you want adorable? Go watch that. Thing. Oh, oh you'll, yes, you'll, you'll enjoy it. Um, <laughs> so basically, overworked salary woman, I guess technically, uh, working late at yes. um, at night, and I have to say, writing Python, um, my programming instincts kicked in, uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, and then of course she starts hearing, leave, leave. So she starts investigating, finding out what's going on. Leave. Leave. Leave now. <laughs> and so she goes over, is behind the copier machine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> behind the copier machine is this, this sad little girl ghost <laughs> who, put, who, has, who has like a voice changing headphone thing on. A little megaphone. A little megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, she, and she puts it down and goes, Please weave. <laughs> oh, no. And it turns out she just feels so bad for how overworked the person is that she wants her to go home and sleep. Like it's, it's, it's not <laughs> like, you know, this is haunted. It's just, you really need some rest, lady. Um, don't die (laughs) dying would be sad (laughs) Um, uh, and so uh, of course she then proceeds to kind of help out and like get her some tea so she can you know do that like do get get her work done and so forth Uh, the the, the office lady is just this is the cutest thing ever this is awesome yeah Uh, (laughs) uh, so yeah there's there's nothing Nothing bad happens. Nothing serious happens. It is yeah. just this weapons-grade cute little girl um, interacting with this office lady as she's trying to get her, her code written. Um, and it's just, it's just that for, for a half an hour. Um, lovely kind of soft style to it. Um, very rounded, very, very approachable. Uh, and and just, just cuteness. Cuteness all the way. It's definitely got a Miss Kobayashi yes. dragon maid yes. feel to it, uh, okay. because okay. you know here we've got you know the overworked <clears throat> office person here. Now these unusual circumstances occur, and it's just this nice ride. It's really cute, and it's mm-hmm. just you know so it, like it, it's kind of like the cuteness of like Kanachan, yeah, from Kobayashi. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, you're not having the wackiness of Toru. But you certainly have the kind of cute vibe mm-hmm. out of this little baby ghost, and like just mm-hmm. her, just uh, you know. And so we talked about Brent, like the idea of this Eastern ghost kind of thing, where she could touch the ghost. Yeah, the ghost brings her tea and brings a blanket. Mm-hmm. And it's like the ghost gives her a shoulder rub. Yeah, and it's just like <laughs> you know, it, the only thing that makes the the little baby ghost a ghost is like the little triangle on her head. Other than that, it's just this really helpful little tiny child. <laughs> like, awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's 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 adorable. Absolutely. Um, um, you know, it is less adorable, um, oh, but yeah. still kind of intrigued me. Um, oh, that's what? I have the wrong... oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I, I, I apologize. I, I have things a little out of order here. I'm going to switch to this uh, one. This is an adorable one, actually. So we're going to switch over to RPG it? Real Estate. Yes. Uh... Um, which I don't know what I expected out of RPG Real Estate, but it wasn't that. Um, well, RPG, I felt like it was going to be, oh, role-playing game. Right. It's going to be something kooky. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. It's, like, it's definitely kooky. Yeah, but definitely was not what I was expecting no. either. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so it's basically cute girls coming to, to work at a real estate agency in a fantasy world. 
Yeah. Um, so th they're responsible for, you know, the haunted mansions and the, the wizard's towers and all that kind of stuff and, and selling those to people and what it's like kind of working there um, and trying to, to help the guests out. Um, so it's, you know, it's kind of Property Brothers. It's, it's HGTV in a fantasy world, um, <laughs> but with Moe girls. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's very cute and light and silly and fluffy. Um, there are a few elements to it where I was like, mm, um, I didn't need that. Um, but you know, whatever. Um, the little girl hates wearing clothes. It was like, yeah, father uh, dragon girl or whatever she is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming mermaid, but I, but I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell the things around her head look like yeah. bone mm -hmm. and her tail looks like bone. So it's yeah. like, are you a like dinosaur? I, skeleton? I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I am. But her proclivity for being less than clothed is is only only sort of ameliorated by the fact that she is over ten million years old. So I, exactly. I, yeah. So it's fine. <laughs> exactly. Um, so it's I used the word inoffensive before. That's very much what I, I feel for this show. It's it's yes. fine and cute and yeah. light and fluffy and funny. Um, but it's not going to rock your world. Um, but it's just, it's fun. It, it it in a way it kind of reminded me of the. Um anime a couple seasons ago of the dragon getting kicked out of home yes. oh, yeah, yeah. Dragon, dragon house hunting, mm -hmm. hunting. yeah yeah mm -hmm. and um it reminded me a, a little bit of that and i was just sure. like as i'm watching it i'm like going okay mm -hmm. okay yeah that's fine mm -hmm. that's fine that's nice it feels nice that's nice, nice. okay mm -hmm. it's making me forget fanfare okay that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. yes um, I, as I said to you, Brent, it reminds me strongly of a show from a couple seasons ago called The Order is a Rabbit. Okay. Because the dark-haired girl looks almost almost mm. exactly the character model for the same kind of dark-haired girl named Riza mm -hmm. in that series. And it's like this, some, some yeah. of the same kind of thing where it's like, oh, in that one, it was all these cute girls that work at a cafe. Mm -hmm. And in like a European-esque styled setting – and here we have all these cute girls working at a real estate agency in a fantasy world. Mm -hmm. yep. It's just kind of like, okay, Order of the Rabbit was just cute. There was nothing horrible. It was, you know, cute and amusing girls doing cute girls doing cute things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm totally expecting that entirely out of that. Yep. Where it's like, I, if I just want to again sit back and be like, let's watch cute things happening to cute people. Let's, mm -hmm. let's just sit down. Get away from the workaday world and watch this. Yeah, yeah. That's, that'll be yeah. great. Yeah, and again, sort of a healing anime kind of a vibe yeah. to it as well. Yeah. Um, moving on to um, a show, I think I'm the only one that watched this Shadowverse Flame. Yes, um, I've not seen Shadowverse. Technically, <clears throat> yeah. um, I think there may have been one or two Shadowverse titles before this, but it looked like it was a, 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 a new title. So I'll give it a try. Um, it's a card battling, you know, game. Uh, uh, oh yeah, you were talking about that. Yeah. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh-ish. Yu-Gi-Oh-ish, very Yu-Gi-Oh-ish. <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna show you all a thing. Uh, when um, they reveal the the avatar, so e every character has like their one like m card they picked is which is their like special, you know, card. Um, the, the the card they always use, and that card can actually like, I think like apparate and like be something you can talk to. Um, um. And the one for this guy is, um, uh, like, Rose of Versailles Cat Lady. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, <laughs> it's just... Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, just is, um, designs all over the uh, place. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Yeah, um, and you got you know the like, giant demon guy and all all that kind of stuff. Um, so I like this anime because it feels like every trope all thrown together in it's a trope blender was what I, I <laughs> that I, you I were saying. <laughs> um, you know, you've got the secret command base that's trying to make sense of everything, um, and then of course bad things happen. Um, you've got the um, the school club that's going to close until they get enough members, and so the main character decides to join that. Um, you've got uh, the guy joining the class, even though he, he never played Shadowverse, didn't know what Shadowverse is. So you have to explain what Shadowverse is to him. Um, 
You Wait, know. I kind of identify Genshin. What, <laughs> is Genshin that? Yeah. <laughs> what you've never heard uh, of it? Heard of it? Um, yeah. But of course, he's been secretly picked by blonde guy with with cut with cloak to be the the ultimate perfect because he is the one, you know, player. He's um, the digi destined. Yes, no, ex- uh-huh, <laughs> yep, pretty much. Um, and uh, and he's, he's been personally given the, the invitation to the academy, whatever. Despite no, why would you do that? He doesn't know anything about Shadowverse. So mysterious. Um, and so you got all that happening. Um, you've got all the little like floaty things that float around because um, they, they're all summoning their cards and having their little floaty guys. Um, uh, yeah, it's just it's kind of all the things. Wow. Um, you have... Uh, oh, that's what you mean, floaty thing. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, oh, like the hell? <laughs> you have a uh, uh, jerk guy who challenges people to Shadowverse just to kick their butts. Uh, who, who, oh, how dare he? You know, um, it has his little harem of girls. Um, uh, none of whom actually honor the dress code. <gasps> right. Uh, so it's, does, it's that. Does anybody go, <laughs> chances of that? Not, 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 not yet. Not in the first episode. Not in the first episode, no. Just give um, it time. Yes. So it's, it's again, just kind of, kind of all of the things all being thrown together into an anime. It's just fun and ridiculous. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, but again, it, it's, I enjoy it because it's all the things. Right. <laughs> right. Fine. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, moving on to kind of an interesting one. Um, Shikimori is not just a cutie. I wanted to see this, but I was not able to get to it. Okay, I, I would love to get your, your, your take on this at some point, Steve. Because, boy, we thought this was going in a direction it was not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, um, we, we, can, we, we can cover this real quickly. Um, main character is very unlucky. Mm-hmm. Um, he has a very cute girlfriend, <clears throat> Shikimori, who is constantly protecting him from his bad luck. So, huh. you know, okay. newspaper blows his direction. She makes sure to, you know, grab it and make sure it doesn't hit him. That kind of stuff. Gotcha. Um, they are literally girlfriend, boyfriend. Like, everyone knows this. This is acknowledged. Not a secret. Ah! Um... Yeah, not the awkward, like, do I ask her out? Do I not mm-hmm. ask her? Yeah, none of that crap. We mm-hmm. cut right to the chase. Absolutely. <laughs> um, that's it. That's the show. Huh. And we were okay. convinced that he was the one, and she was a battle vixen from outer space who had been, like, assigned to him to ensure that he's safe forever. Um, because, like, at one point, a sign is falling so, in So, basically, a DNA squared? You're right. Exactly. Um, you know, oh, or wow. even even the Tenchi verse, it could have been. Yeah, you know what I mean? we, like, we oh, were waiting oh, wow. for like the Tenchi verse yeah. crossover <laughs> thing, because um, at one point, like, like a, a neon sign falls down on him and she kicks it out of the way. Yeah, like wow. not a paper sign. No, no like, like a big ass metal <laughs> yeah. thing, like three hundred pounds. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> she just whack the sign. She kicks it. Yeah. Like, what? Oh, crap, she is a space like a uh, Valkyrie. Here we go. And and I get spoiler alert, I checked Wikipedia. There's like seven volumes of this and no, it's just that's it. Like he's unlucky. That's it. She 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 is like like not super lucky, but she is super fortunate, I guess, if you will, right? Like it's not that all good things happen to her, but she kinda of bounces them out. Yeah. Right. And that's it. It's just apparently just a romance. Huh. Which is which is totally fine. Yeah, absolutely totally fine. But wow, I'm, I'm, it's well, kind of a bit of a letdown when you're like, "Oh my gosh, this thing is huge." Like, no, actually, very but, but you small. See, <laughs> see, you guys have, have piqued my interest on this because yeah. while I do love the, you know the Tenji and all that stuff, yeah, you, you guys know I'm a sucker for a good romance. Well, I think so, that's what we're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll mm-hmm. definitely. Have, and this is on Crunchy. Yes, because I didn't get a chance. Yes. To play. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I in no way disliked it. Like I enjoyed, yeah, it, the entire ride. It was just one of those weird things where your expectations are set. And it's like, oh no, I just missed uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Which, Yoko's getting there. Yeah, and <laughs> blow something up. Not wait. No, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I, I got I kept getting this uh, Unica Sai from from uh, Mirai Nikki Future Diary. I kept getting this feeling uh, of like and. Yeah. 
and Shikimori like shoots some glances where you're like, mm-hmm. there's no oh, dude, there's some deep, there's some deep here. And, no, there isn't. I'm like, God damn it. Mm-hmm. But I think this, I I would go so far to say if you set aside prior knowledge of it, any yeah. other shows. <laughs> That this is like, oh, this is just such a sweet little, you know, sweet little romance mm-hmm. show. It's just really cute. Mm-hmm. But then when you have like the three of us who have amassed a fairly substantial amount of knowledge, yeah. it's just like, oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, entirely. exactly. Like, yeah, you're right. This is oh, going to be like this fantastic journey. Yeah. It's like, okay, shut up, nerds. Sit down. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. Well, this clearly here is the watch uh, some of the uh, space alien technology that helped them to, uh, you know, uh, overcome all the bad luck, which is a historically classic kind of curse. No, it's not. Sit down. Worst <laughs> romance ever. <laughs> <laughs> now to die like Lauren Green. Best <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> Um, all right, let's switch over to a show that's... Oh, boy, this was an interesting one. Um, Skeleton Knight in Another World. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, oh, okay, so... <laughs> I Steve, said, you I seem to have a strong out. opinion on this. <laughs> no, 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 it's not so much a strong opinion. It was just... It totally took me by surprise. Yeah. And I was just like... I was like, I, I got to warn them because they're going to do the thing. And Thank you. And they're going to be doing... The, Doing the the you know the live feed whatever I'm just yep. like I, I, just so you know mm-hmm. just so you know like yep you know it'd be different if they just kind of led up to it a little bit yeah mm-hmm. instead of just going hi welcome to our anime rape mm-hmm. and I was just like mm-hmm. yeah um, and to be clear it does not actually happen like it, it is a, yes right it, it is an assault attempted yes but yes and thank you for warning me because I came into this like going I'm ready. <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> oh, because, yeah, it's kind of a, a Goblin Slayer opening. Yes. Um, yes. As, Which I would, but, al- I would, and we, we discussed, I would almost think that this that was the lesson learned. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Other people are like, wow, Goblin Slayer, really, like, people were talking about it. Mm-hmm. Good or bad, mm-hmm. people were talking the hell out of it because, oh, my gosh, this is just, how, mm-hmm. how could you do this? Yep. And it's like, okay, this kind of <clears> seemed <throat> like that because mm-hmm. it, it, it is pl- plot-related. So it is tied right. in, mm-hmm. like Goblin Slayers was as well. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, you got my attention. It's mm-hmm. pretty like, oh my goodness, very jarring. But mm-hmm. now I'm, I'm focused. Yeah. And I'm paying attention to what mm-hmm. you're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and again, in fairness, the protagonist immediately comes in and cuts all the, 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 the assault, assaulters in half. Yeah. Um, yeah, literally. <laughs> so it's like, Okay, I, I, I see the point you're making here. That we're, you know, we're not simply <laughs> trading on this concept. We're also saying, yeah, and, and horrific. Um, yeah. So basically, Guy wakes up in... Um, so this is Isekai in the sense that, like, Guy's been playing video game, wakes up in video game, but it's clearly, like, yeah. reality now. Um, right. He has this, like, super powerful armor and weapons and so forth that he, had, he got in game. Um, and he is very powerful now. Uh, unfortunately, he has no money, uh, which you know is a problem. Uh, so he goes to try to get you know the uh, the thing. What I I think the point at which I I kind of fell in love with the show was when they was when they revealed that he is a fantasy otaku. You know, yeah, he loves elves and dwarves and swords and all that kind of stuff. So like he's walking around and he sees a, a you know a girl and she's cloaked whatever and then she goes he goes something. Like, uh, oh, you're a damn elf. He goes, an elf? Cool! You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, all right. just, he's just like squeeze, practically squeeze it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like, uh, oh my God. Um, and I'm so glad that show went into that tone drift because exactly, the beginning yeah. of it, I was just like, going, yeah. I was just like, going, oh, mm-hmm. is this all this is going to be? Oh, no. Yeah. Please, no. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it's a bit much to start off with. Um, yeah. yeah, but it does also set the the mark mm-hmm. that this show right. is willing. Hey, if you want to, if you want to go on this on this trip, mm-hmm. this show's willing to go that far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, we're also going to keep it kind of light. So yeah. why don't you keep watching and mm-hmm. you see what happens? See how things kind of develop. Like, okay. And I will give them credit for the fact that 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 scene is a character moment for the main character, where yeah. he comes across yeah. this, he sees 
And there are like a dozen guys surrounding these girls who he's like, I don't know if I can like help. Like I might just go in and get slaughtered immediately. Let me think it through for a, for a minute and figure out like mm, what, what's going to happen here. Um, and then he, you know, it progresses and he's like, nope, nope, I'm going, like, uh-uh, you know, uh-uh. Yeah, this, guy, this is guy's, this is guy's stop. This is got to stop. Yeah. Um, and it does. Yeah, you get, <laughs> Ooh, you get a nice moral progression there. So he's mm-hmm. not just some kind of stand, stand aside and be like, oh, look at the elves. Oh, mm-hmm. look at the thing that, no, he's, he's, he's an active character in his yeah. world. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, and I enjoyed the fact that, you know, to your point that he he's a fantasy otaku is that when he realizes that he is a skeleton yeah and he's just like oh oh i yeah i did choose this avatar <laughs> oh crap they'll they'll hunt you me know, like a monster, a monster. <laughs> yeah good point i mean but he figures it out mm-hmm. and you know he goes okay well you know i'm just gonna have to do the thing yeah and that's it there, mm-hmm. there's no yeah. there's no there's no like i've got to find the cure to this curse kind of thing now yeah no he goes i'm hungry yeah, <laughs> I, I, you know they do this down, and this is like, oh yeah, I'm hungry. I'm gonna need food, but I'm gonna need to do this. Mm-hmm. Although it was a little bit unsettling at the end of it when he's just laughing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a skull silhouette. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. If I was walking on the laugh, street, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, if I was walking on the street and I saw that, I'd be like, get the villagers together, kill it, yeah. fire now. Exactly. You know, it's just like, oh my god. Oh look, the villagers have come to greet me with pitchforks. The torch up. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> time to go. Yeah. yeah, that's bad. Exactly. Yeah, I, I like the fact that it reminded me very much of Overlord, mm-hmm. where yes. where sure. where Eintz goes into his alternate form, Momon with Navarro, his his sidekick, okay. and pretends to be a good guy to gain mm. data and, and information okay. about all kinds of what's going on in the different guilds and what the mm. kingdoms are doing. And it's it is basically like that form. It's okay. like Momon. Mm. He it's still Ions when he takes the helmet off. It's mm. still skeleton head Ions okay. under there. <laughs> so he never takes the helmet off. Mm. So he's just mm-hmm. this huge armored beast with a giant claymore. So it's just like yeah. it's. I, so I saw this. And I'm like, gosh, you know, this can't be an accident. You have a huge skeleton with a claymore. Yeah. In right. armor. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That that could easily be homage mm-hmm. because it's just too coincidental in that mm-hmm. respect. It's possible. Yeah, I, but I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah, I have no <laughs> yeah. idea like when this originally came out. Um, yeah, how back it goes. But uh, we'll say Overlord. At least the anime I know is just, you know, gosh, seasons ago. Sure. So yeah, it's yeah. Uh, if it, it easily you could say, well, you know, Overlord was a manga first, that it took like four years to get into anime. So mm-hmm. I'm. I would be willing to, to bet a brand new shiny dollar um, mm. that <laughs> Overlord came first, mm. and that this one probably has followed along. And that's yeah, yeah, <laughs> quite probable. Um, cool. All right, it's time, everyone. It is time. I did not get to watch it. Oh, oh, what? that pains me. I didn't me, get to Steve. watch it. Ah. I didn't get to watch it, and All I right. wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to. All right, I was preoccupied with things like getting this work. thing on. Okay, well, <laughs> and work. Yeah, John and I will talk about Spy Family. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> um. So, I stumbled across Spy Family and my like Amazon recommendations some time ago. Read a couple of volumes of the manga. Adored it. Was very happy to hear about the anime adaptation, and I'm very happy to to announce. Yes, like they they, they adapted <laughs> this properly. Um, whatever proper means, but like all the pieces are there, the characters are there. It feels like Cold War Germany um, or Cold War Europe, I guess. Um, and uh, the, you know, the comedy is there, all the different elements are there. Um, basic premise: main character is a, um, a spy, very famous spy, uh, and he <laughs> receives a a job to. Um, infiltrate a um, or uh, get close to a guy and the only way he can do that is by posing as a, uh, a man with a uh, wife and daughter so the daughter can get into this prestigious school um, and so he then proceeds to um, adopt a girl uh, from an orphanage um, a little girl who just so happens to be a telepath just 
Accidentally. Accidentally, yes. Just, just so happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and so she... And so, <laughs> you know, he's not sure. And so she reads his mind and does everything that she needs to do to prove to him that she is what he needs to be so she, she can be adopted by him. Um, and, of course, he doesn't know that she can read minds. And she knows yeah. how bad it would be if anyone realizes <laughs> that, that she is a telepath. So she hides it from him. Um, and, of course, you know... Word one, she knows he's a spy. <laughs> but she loves sp- spies are cool. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to be part of a spy family? Like that's that's awesome. Um, well, her favorite anime is like Spy Something. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. On the TV, and she has a poster of it. Um. So yes, it it is very much that. Um. And what's great about it, which you get to the end of the episode, is that um. She basically gets kidnapped um, because word gets out. I won't. <laughs> well, yeah, word gets out, um, and, uh, and, and <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, main character gets like um, he has second thoughts that like this is too dangerous for her, right? Like I put her in this really bad situation. I should just like let her go, and I'll, I'll find another kid, um, and then she doesn't abandon him. And he comes to realize, basically, again, this is not really a spoiler, um, that he wants her. Um, and he, he, he wants this relationship. He, he, he wants to keep this going. Um, and, uh, and so they, they go home together. And the, the story will progress from there. Um, so what I love is it's this wacky premise, but there is this undercurrent of really a story about developing you know real affection for each other, and how that becomes kind of the the under undercurrent of the whole thing, that they actually do want to spend time with each other, but then there's this whole other then there's other stuff they have to do as well. Do not die. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, High quality know, action animation, all the all the things. Yeah. Are. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. That's I. Based on your your enthusiasm for the manga, I, I was so excited for this to come along. Yeah. And when it when watching this, it's just like, I really enjoy the spy crafting mm-hmm. of things. You yeah. know his 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 toolbox of spy trade things. His mm-hmm. his spy ability. Yeah. Um, I also like the. I. I I don't know how to describe like the him going to the orphanage to to get <clears throat> a piece of equipment to do a thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and to see him initially, he's just there to get the thing, mm-hmm. and to and to have so well portrayed in her mm-hmm. that you know I don't want to I don't want to be here. This might be my last chance, kind of thing. You know, you're sort of you're hearing these things coming from the orphanage, you know, mm. runner that you know, go ahead, take her, get her out of here. Yeah. And it's like, so you get the, you get this feeling of like, she knows she's unwanted, and she's trying to. She knows she's got to do the things to get somebody to take her out of here. Mm-hmm. So she's dialing into this complete stranger to be like, this is a better option than mm-hmm. being stuck here and nobody wants me. Yep. And right. you know you're you're seeing that that yeah you get to that point where he's like no this is too dangerous for her but I I can't just send her back yeah I can't just get somebody else mm, right you know it's like I can't do that and it's like wow you get to see him mm. incrementally have this much more human approach to things when mm-hmm. kind of James Bondish it's like he doesn't have a problem like putting a bullet in the back of somebody's head right that's not, you know that's mm-hmm. not a thing that he has right. any difficulties with mm-hmm. and now he's kind of got this kind of twinge of like well that's mm-hmm. you know it's the right thing to do here that's that's wrong to send her back uh, yep. you know and it's like I love that and this is just episode one yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean it's just there sort of mm-hmm. coming into orbit with one another and we're mm-hmm. not even any you know we're close into the depth of the story of how no. this is going to play out about mm-hmm. going to the school and the wife yeah. and husband team, blah, <laughs> oh, blah. yeah i mean it's like i 
I'm so happy to have seen this, and I'm so happy that I love it, and I'm yeah. so happy that I'm going to get to see more of it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yes. And, and it's so nice in something that is complicated, right? There are a lot of moving pieces to this story. To see yeah. them manage to do all of those in this epi- in this first episode, um, yeah. and to get all of those those, those pieces in place. Okay, like, hey, I, I I understand what's going on. I understand who's who. I'm really glad we haven't they didn't introduce the wife yet. I think that would just kind of overcomplicate the plot. Yes, uh, it's just him and her, and okay, we we understand that now. We can move on from there. Yeah, just mm-hmm. well, it gives us a really good. I I think rather than trying to throw together an ensemble cast and then work out the complexity yeah. of their sort of interconnections mm-hmm. that you're establishing a good concrete foundation with yeah. arguably from a, from a, what, what do you want to call it, a moral standpoint, mm-hmm. you're establishing a concrete base with this very vulnerable child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're getting that in a place where it is, it is settling down to, to where it, it can function. Mm-hmm. And then you can in, introduce people later on because yeah. then they will, it will be how those ties connect to these two bounded units there. Exactly. And it's like, mm-hmm. I, I like that. I, I yeah. like the way that that was done in a, a very intelligent, sensitive style. Yes, exactly. And the fact that, you know, like to your point, she's very perceptive. Yeah. Um, in, in every sense. Um, it's like she's trying to like work the angles in a very like four year old way. Um, while he has no idea how to be a father. <laughs> this is just so outside of his perspective. Uh, like we both laughed when he did the spit take when he, he he discovered what he has to do. It's like, oh, you know, like, not, not my thing. I have to get a kid by next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not how that typically goes. Biologically, that doesn't happen like that. But exactly. if you have a test tube and maybe enough super science, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and I say um, and I say that as a. Maybe super science, ah. but, I say, but I won't say more. Who knows? Tune in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's switch over to Tomodachi game, the anime that made me angry. Yeah, oh, thank the you. Anime, I did not say. <laughs> uh, I didn't get to see uh, this. One. You don't have to see it. Nope. It's it's nope. Squid Game's you know, the anime. Yes. yes. It, it, it yes. Yep. Yes, mm-hmm. that's it, it, exa- I had high hopes for it. Mm-hmm. I just read the blurb about it, and then. Yes, thank you, Brian. I got angry too. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I, I just <laughs> give me I, back my twenty-three minutes. I, 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 yeah. Well, I didn't even make it through the twenty-three minutes. I mean, <laughs> oh, really? It got. It, 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 it got. To, I got Good. to. I got to where did that? Where did I get to? Where they got into the game where they're pushing the big yen yeah. thing around, mm-hmm. and yeah. I was just like, I'm like, and at that point, I got mad because I was just like. If you have to explain to me the game in <laughs> critical detail, everything that happens for the next 45 seconds, so I mm-hmm. get it at the mm-hmm. end, no, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You know what? Look, I was like, Death Note was somewhat cerebral, and mm-hmm. you kind of had to pay attention it, to the rules. Mm-hmm. But this is like, oh, okay, we're going to play a game, and then if you do this, blah, 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 and then aren't you going to – and it's just like – is this like Squid Game? Is this Saw? Is this what is mm-hmm. this? And yeah. then it's just like, okay, I'm so. And then we're pitting friends again. I, I don't. Uh, okay, yeah, fine. Um, I'm I, gonna go get drunk in a quarter. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna. You know. Um, at at the end of it, I came up with the, with with the the term psychological torture porn. Yep. And that, yeah. that that's just that that was it. I was like, I'm not. No, I'm not in for that. Yeah. I just don't want to watch that happen. Um, it is just tearing people apart for you know the entire thing. Um, how can we show how terrible people are? It's like I no, there's just not. And, and again, to be all, clear, all I have to do, all I have to do to figure that one out is to turn on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, we and, see that every day. Thanks. Right. And yeah. again, you know, there are there are works like, um, um, oh gosh, I'm forgetting the name of it now. Uh, the um, uh, old boy, right? Yeah. Old boy is very much. You know, breaking somebody down and seeing how terrible things can get for people. Yeah, and I love that movie. Like that, that is now, which which version? Properly. Uh, original, original, like original Korean okay. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah, 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 yeah I haven't yeah, seen yeah, the other yeah. one. Just I just haven't. Don't. Um, okay. Just, um, yeah. So, would you consider Flowers of Evil the anime to be kind of torture porn? I I only 
I got like one or two episodes into well, that, not, and but, but like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I I didn't get far enough into it to understand kind of the all that stuff. Um, it was I couldn't understand the relationship between the characters, and it just got absurd, like the way they interacted with each other. That I just I I dropped it. I just couldn't couldn't get yeah i couldn't i couldn't handle the visual style i'm like oh yeah. god this is awful to watch yeah the, the, the visual style i i got used to like i was like this yeah. is bizarre but i i think that's what, they, what they're doing but yeah just you know when she like takes his clothes off like forcibly strips him um i was just like i don't i don't understand what's going on here like this just i don't understand why there's any relationship yeah. this just doesn't make any sense to me um yeah. this is just you know we're gonna bring some characters together and then just psychologically break them down and 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 make them like destroy each other yeah like, oh, and there's no, no and there's no and, it, and i'm sure that they have a reason for it at yeah. the end of it but mm-hmm. i'm sure that none of us are going to care but <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's probably going to be something really stupid and simple mm-hmm. you but, bullied me in elementary school well, and i've yeah. gotten my revenge mm-hmm. against you you're right yep. you know and and the the thing one of the things that i knew that i was i was in for trouble was there's you know and I thought they were my friends. And then they go into describing the friends. And they give you like yeah. 1.5 seconds to read the blurb about <laughs> each friend. And so I had to stop and read mm. the thing. And then when we get into it, oh, we're just going to break everyone down at the, at the pack of whatever. Yeah. And, you know, I was, I was just like, no, I'm just, no, I got no time for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I could be getting drunk. I don't need to do this. Exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. So now we get to move on. Again, we kind of got backwards in the titles here. Um, um, We're going to talk about um, Trapped in a Dating Sim. Um, Yes. Tome games are difficult for a mob. Tome games. Yeah. Um, Yeah. This was... Boy, I had some thoughts on this one. Um, I laughed a lot at the intro, where the main character is being forced to beat this Atome game for his sister, um, and yeah. he's spending the entire time complaining about it and how dumb it is, and how he hates all the characters, um, and like yep. you're watching it, like yeah, like legitimately, like this is every cliche, this is all the things. Um, I love the fact that there's like a like, like a, a, a real time strategy mech game like shoved into right, there too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Why? This makes no sense. Um, so, and well, also, she could see the cutscene. Yeah, exactly. That, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, she, the little sister could see the cutscene. Yeah. If you want to play the game. <laughs> and, and yeah, I was just laughing at that too. I was just like, okay, this is be fine. And then it went into floating islands. Yeah. Um, so he wakes up in this in the, in a matriarchal society, um, heavily matriarchal society, um, um, and he's kind of he's going to be forced to marry whoever his evil stepmother says literally right. evil stepmother yep um yes there, there are notes of cinderella going on here somewhat yes um yeah. and so then he goes off on an adventure to recover a spaceship mm-hmm. <laughs> um and take out like a mech in the spaceship yep yeah. um which which he does and then comes back with like all of the all the gold and such from there and and sticks it to his evil stepmother um because he has all the gold um yeah. so yeah kind of like we were talking about earlier one of the problems i have with this is is this entire episode is set up yes it's just yeah. establishing all the things <laughs> and, and where he's going to go next because the end of the episode he he gets into you know the elite academy which is the setting for the game so now we know how he got there but like that none of this has anything to do with what he's actually going to do with any of those characters, so I don't know why we spent an episode with all of this stuff. Um, and it's kind of this weird mishmash of, of things, and it's just kind of him being angry at the world the entire time. So yeah, it's yeah. just kind of it was it was a really weird thing where I'm like, again, I think this you know it, it, I almost want to watch episodes two and three to get a, a sense of where does this go because it might find its feet. But this first episode right. is just kind of like, eh, I I, I I I'm not sure what I have here. <laughs> They're trying to do a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It, it was it was just way too much. I mean, honestly, if they just cut out the entire him getting the treasure, waking up yeah. in, in the SFI, and and yeah. just left it like the first segment, which everyone laughed at, 
Mm -hmm. then cut away to him going, hey, I got the treasure, and like a quick little, here's the explanation, Mm -hmm. and then we move on. Yeah. You know, just to, you know, just, just move on. But yeah, at the end of it, I was just like going, so what, why, why? <laughs> why was this important for me to see? Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this could have been a jump cut. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I get it. I have to watch this because of my little sister wants to watch this anime and she wants me to get her <laughs> so she doesn't have to watch all this whole, you know, see? it's like, oh, it all, it all comes back together. Works. Well, as I had said to you, Brent, I just I, I wanted it, it felt to me like this was the male answer to my life is villainous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like he would be the male version of Kathleen and the Kleis. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> there you get to see her isekai mm-hmm. and grow up. Yeah. So you mm-hmm. get some right. of this her as a kid and she's developing and like you know, her awareness of her situation and her interacting with all the guys. And you don't have just this, I died, now I have to get treasure, now I have to do this, to then start the adventure. Yeah. It's like, I, yeah, it's yeah. just, it felt kind of useless in that respect. And it's mm-hmm. like, <clears throat> if you had done it kind of like Villas, I think I would have been, I would have cared to watch more of this. Yeah. But now you've just given yeah. me all this treacle to get because, me to the starting point, yeah. and I don't care. <laughs> because, <laughs> right. because, to be clear, all the stuff with her as a kid is is affecting the storylines of all those characters she's going to interact with in the future. Yeah. So it's not just random, right. oh, I'm growing up. It's, no, I am, I am setting up what's going to happen. This yeah. is all just, well, here's how I found money. I, I don't care. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah. Some on a chest. That, that works for me. <laughs> and now I'm going to... I'm going to dump into the game where you start the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all the characters are already what they are. They're already mm-hmm. locked yeah. in. Yeah. Everything that's in here, mm-hmm. I'm just like this wild card thrown in mm-hmm. that now I ha- now it's, you know, these they're already set. Yeah. I can't influence the path mm-hmm. of things to, to get an ending where I don't have, mm-hmm. you know, whatever three guys beating me up in, in the yeah. gym lock. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, so. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I, yeah, I just, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, again, it's another one where if I've got the time, mm-hmm. I might go for a second episode just to be like, ah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Uh, you know, Curiosity. Are you doing anything redemptive with this where mm-hmm. you're going to get me to be like, okay, I'll ignore 99% of episode one because now we're in the heart of the matter. We can do the meat of things. Yeah. Right. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not thirsting for episode two. If I get to it, I get to it in the dark. Right, right. I will give the show this, which Jay points out in the chat room. The show does introduce Staircoon. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> we don't have enough Staircoon in a lot of things. That's yes, exactly. Um, all right, let's finish out with one of the surprises of the, probably one of the big surprises of the season. Ya boy, Kong Ming. Yeah, go ya boy. Um, which begins with the Legend of the Three Kingdoms, and it's like, all right, here we go. Yep. Required by law, a, a Legend of the Three Kingdoms anime um, for, for this year. Um, and yeah, if we don't have Sengoku, we got to have Three Kingdoms. Exactly. Um, whereupon he wakes up in Tokyo. Um, <clears throat> one of the great generals of the Three Kingdoms wakes up in modern-day Tokyo. Um, and uh, it's Halloween in Shinjuku. <laughs> So he's like, oh, I'm in hell. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's blaring music and all these people in these weird costumes getting drunk. He's like, okay, clearly, I'm in hell. Um, and so um, he... Uh, he was very chill about hell, too. This is true. I mean, most people yes. were panicky, but it's, yeah. it, was a hell of, it was a hell of a party. A hell of a party, exactly. <laughs> um, but he meets a young woman at a party. Um, who is singing her heart out on stage. Um, and um, uh, basically, they end up going home together. Not like that. Mm. <laughs> uh, and without putting too fine a point on it, he, he likes her singing so much, he decides to become her manager. Which you nailed. I you don't know how I did that. You nailed it. But it's like, oh, here's her singing. Well, she's he's gonna have her manager. What? <laughs> really? 
keep watching. And here we are. I'm like, oh my God. It was the weirdest thing. Um, I guess Again, what I said about massive anime yes. knowledge. <laughs> yeah. All of the like the, the string theory, you know, which yeah. which, which cord to, to pluck, and that's where the ending is. Like, oh no, no joke. Exactly. Um so the interesting thing about it is that she has like insecurities around singing. And he is very much there to like, gently, reasonably encourage her about that. You know, not like, oh, you know, you are my goddess or anything. But like, no, you have to, one of the things I really appreciate is that she's talking about um, all of this with him um, uh, back in their apartment uh, or in her apartment, I should say. Her um, and um, she says something about like, yeah, I don't I don't have talent. And he goes, in my experience, talent is actually skill. Talent is actually accumulated. What we what we think of as talent, somebody has busted their butts to get to that level. Yes, they may they may have been in, in born with something, but it's not like talent makes you world class overnight. Yeah. Um. Like, oh, okay. So his, you know, his perspective is, you know, you you already can sing well. I want to get you to the point where you're successful. Um. So it, it's a it's a very kind of reasonable approach to the, the whole thing. Um, so I really like that. There's some snappy comedy in it, um, yeah. <laughs> particularly around the, the, the Yakuza boss guy and his strange Three Kingdoms otakuness, uh, yep. which I just laughed at. Um, uh, and yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's a, it's a very upbeat show, um, despite being about like something fairly serious and fa something important to somebody's life. Um, but it kind of hits that middle ground of being kind of upbeat and cheerful um, um, and just fun. And they can address things that, the, like the question I asked two seconds before it happened, <laughs> isn't it odd someone from ancient China like 2,000 years ago speaks Japanese? Oh, and you know, you, I can speak Japanese. I didn't even realize I was speaking <laughs> yeah, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. I've got that very, uh, very point just answered. Thank you. It's like you knew I was going to ask it. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, it was. Uh, it w it was done in a in a way that <laughs> it was just hysterical that you nailed it on the head. But yeah, yeah. Um, the the character from his bartending mad bar <laughs> bartending skills <laughs> for, for an ancient Chinese general. I you know okay. Um, I absolutely want to see how he's going to apply, yeah. you know, like Sun Tzu's art of war to <laughs> making her into an idol. I can't wait to see how they're going to play this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and her Yakuza otaku <laughs> three warring kingdoms. I have no idea what to make any of that as opposed to say we should call her boss plot kun. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just eased our way into having this ancient Chinese general work at the bar. Yeah, Thank you. Exactly. That works out great. Um, it, to be clear, like, <clears throat> excuse me. She, bless, you. She, bless you. She brings Kong Ming in to say, hey, I want him to work at the, the bar. And this you know, Yakuza boss guy, guy's like, all right, if you're really Kong Ming, you know, um, um, why did you decide to send you know, XYZ over ABC River to do XYZ? Because if you're really Kong Ming, you'll know the answer to that. Um, and he proceeds to explain why he did that. And he goes, this is awesome. Wow, I can actually talk about the glorious of the Three Kingdoms all day. I love that. You're the real Kong Ming. <laughs> yeah. like, wow, dude. <laughs> all while playing a, a game of Go. Yes, exactly. It's just like, wow, okay. Which was really cool. Um, which was also honestly clever um, because, again, Go is a game of, you know, strategy and kind of moving groups around. I see what you're doing there. Is this about a war and you're doing that thing? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, a fun one. Definitely a fun one. That's it. That is 25 anime that we got through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for this season, those were our thoughts on those shows. Um, any any final thoughts? I can still see out. No, I just can see. I can still see out one eye. Yeah. Um, I I I think I started Friday night. Um, and I've been going ever since. <laughs> Oof. 
Yeah, you know it's funny. You know it's funny. Last week and then worked mm. slowly bits to bits and pieces through this week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I so so I had to actually do this at night just because of mm, sure. you know, things going on, and um, so there would be periodic times where I'm just kind of looking at things where I stop and just have to rest my eyes. Yeah. I go over the Discord and it's, it's like two o'clock in the morning, right? And I see your avatar and it's green, and I'm like going. The, the hell is he doing? Why is he? Uh, he's never up. Mm-hmm. He does not keep my hours. What the hell is going on here? But uh, anime doesn't watch know. itself, Steve. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's been a week, but that's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was a, this is a um, this is a fun season for me. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I I enjoyed. Like, not a lot of stuff that I'll probably keep up with. Um, but but um, a lot of shows where I'm like, oh, I'm you know I don't regret watching that, which was nice. Yeah, I can't say there were too many that I just immediately was like, no, nope, turn it off. I just I can't do this to the end. So it's like, I I, I enjoy that. I I'm happy when it's not like D side Tremarian going. What the <laughs> hell is this? <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Mm-hmm. So apparently. I'm the hater of this one. <laughs> you know, it's probably a good thing. It's probably a good thing we didn't do the uh, the, uh, the the pool. This yeah, it's around. true. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I would have lost big this time around. Who knows? And I mean, you guys are already like, so Steve, tell us how you really feel about that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Come back with the latest anime news. And we will see you in just a few minutes.